Hello, very lovely people. Welcome to the Geek Cupboard. I am Penge, and oh my goodness me, we appear to be live. This is this is a very rare occurrence. This the, the stars must be in alignment and all that kind of stuff. Because yes, we're live. This this hardly ever happens, and it's very exciting. So we're so yes. Hello, everybody. Hello. Right now, first things first. Technical stuff. Can you hear me? And can you see what's going on? <laughs> because I don't want to start doing loads of stuff. And then um. And then obviously no one can hear me or see what's happening. So I think you should be able to see what's happening. Just someone give a yell in the comments to say, yay, I can hear you as well. That would be good. <laughs> that would be splendid. Um, now, it, how's the volume? Is it deafening? Is it not deafening? Someone someone inform me with things. Okay. But yes, there, there are many people. Hello, wonderful, wonderful people. How are you all this very lovely Saturday night? Although I say lovely. Ah, good. People are saying, yes, this is excellent. How's the volume? Am I melting your ears or is it all just lovely and lovely and normal? Ah, good. Right. Okay. It's looking good. It's looking good. Um, yeah, because I've not I've not streamed. I went and checked when the last time I actually did a live stream was. And it was it was with the wonderful Dave from the Wee Hours Games, who is in the chat. Hello, Dave. It was on the 8th of June, 2019. So two years two and a bit years have gone by since I last did a stream so it works so yeah all the levels were all over the place and all that kind of stuff but uh but yeah there we go so this is wonderful this is very exciting um yes these happen very very rarely for a couple of reasons I suppose uh number one is because I'm just I'm just a disorganized rabble and I can never sort anything out uh, and number two many of you might know already but I've got two kids so the fact that I'm upstairs chatting away to myself means that the kids can't go to sleep because they can also hear me chuntering away because they're in the rooms that are adjacent to me pretty much. So that is why these are quite difficult to arrange. So the children are out. They are not here and I am here. So I thought, do you know what? This is a perfect opportunity. Let's go and do some streaming. So here we go. Um, yeah, so Kingdoms and Castles. That was uh, that was voted for by by you lovely people out there. So uh, yes, now I've not played this before and um, I was going to try and play it today and I didn't get round to it. So I'm not entirely sure what to expect with this. It's going to be, it's going to be interesting. So hopefully, hopefully people can, uh, hopefully people can help out a little bit with this that have played it before because I might just be a little bit sort of a bit slapdash. I know that's not what you'd expect, of course. Um, game volume is a bit low. Do we need the game volume a bit louder? I mean, I can do that. I'm not entirely sure I do want to hear it. Maybe because it's on the menu. It might be on the menu and that's all fine. Uh, yes, hello, hello, many people. There are many people. Hi, lots of people. Um, also, by the way, did everyone have a chance to get tea? Because tea is you know, important for these sorts of things. I have tea for anyone that's interested. And people do sometimes ask. Uh, it's Yorkshire decaf at the moment because it's late and, well, late-ish. It's eight o'clock-ish and I would like to go to sleep later. If I had a proper cup of tea about now, I'd be awake for hours. So, um, so yes. Well, um, I've got a lovely cup of tea ready. Hopefully everyone else does as well. So here we go. I think we'll dive in. Oh, and hang on a second. Hang on. Oh, I've zoomed out. Wee, there we go. Zooming out. A big thank you to, I mean, in the chat, he's coming up as Renosium, but we all know him as RJ. RJ the cannibal has arrived. <laughs> Here is some tea and biscuits money. Nearly finished the Lego cube. Thank you very, very much for the tea and biscuits money. That is very, very generous of you. Thank you very much. Um, and yes, you have to show us what the um, the Lego Mario 64 cube thing looks like. Oh, that's, that's zoomed right in. Hello, zoom in. Can we zoom out? There we go. That's oh, it's uh, right. The zoom's gone a bit weird. We'll just we'll, it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. It'll work itself out. Um, right. Okay. There we go. Let's start a new game. So here we go. Uh, we'll play in standard mode. I kind of think creative mode might be a bit. You know, we can just make things appear. There's no challenge in that. So we'll play on standard mode. I believe we get raided and such like. Um, somebody says, "What's your favourite tea?" My favourite tea, as most people will be aware, is, is Yorkshire Gold. Yorkshire Gold is the it's the finest of all the teas. It's a very good tea, but you have to leave it a bit. Yorkshire Gold, you can't just sort of go right there. You go Yorkshire Gold, pour that, and then put the milk in straight away. You've got to leave it. You've got to leave the Yorkshire Gold for a good what three three minutes, three four minutes. Just leave it sitting there. And some people look horrified when I say this. And like th three to four minutes, the tea will be cold. The tea won't be cold. Boiling water doesn't cool down in three minutes to cold temperature unless you're you know, in the Arctic or something. So, uh, yeah, you've got to leave it. 
you've got to leave it a little while and then you put then you put the, the milk in and then it's all wonderful from there but yeah Yorkshire gold is a good tea however right now yeah because the hour is late I have Yorkshire decaf which is not quite as good it's not quite as good a, a little sort of a blend but it's okay it is okay it's good it's good for a late night sort of stuff uh, someone else has got beer yeah okay that's fine that was my last weekend there was much beer so yes yeah, so let's go into standard mode so okay Ooh. Choose a region for your kingdom. So Paxlon, peaceful land with no enemy invaders. Uh, long, lovely summers. Does sound very nice. Short and mild winters. Okay, so this is easy mode. Oh no, that's not even easy mode. That's just no, that's like basic, basic mode. Summern, which is easy. A good region for a new ruler. Yep, that sounds about right. Long, lovely summers, short and mild winters. Uh, winters. Less raiders and dragons. Okay. I will admit, wasn't expecting dragons. Um, okay, uh, hang on, hang on. The, the Dovaloids, Mark Davies in the chat there, has said he doesn't like Yorkshire gold. It's like minty toothpaste after. You've had, you've had the wrong type of Yorkshire gold. That's what you've had. You've had something else. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what you've been drinking. Yorkshire gold isn't minty. Go and get some now. Go, go out, buy some now and drink some. It's, if you have it after you've cleaned your teeth, it would feel minty. Um, okay, right. What are people thinking for this? For a total new player? Because I'm thinking, I'm thinking the easy mode right now, but people that have played this before, is that too easy? Is there no chance of anything happening? Because we do want a little bit of, a little bit of threat. However, possible to lose if happiness goes too low for too long. <laughs> uh, okay, so we to keep people happy by growing tea? I don't know. Um, Oh, RJ, RJ, thank you again. Here's some sweet money for the mini pension. I bought them some sweets today. I did buy them some sweets. I went to, what's it called? Is it like Mr. Brown's Sweet Shop or something in town? And they had a, like a, a pre-bag done of sweets, which they like. They like soft, like jelly type sweets. So I just bought them that bag. It was brilliant. So yeah, just nice and straightforward. Went in, picked a bag. Lovely. That's got one. And out we went. So yeah, I, m I might have possibly had a few of those sweets. Just to sample them. Um, yes, what are people saying? So easy, Pax, uh, Paxlon is fine. We can't do Paxlon. <laughs> There's no threats. We can't have that. We need a little bit of action. We need somebody to come in and try and bop us on the head with an axe or something. Um, yeah, we'll go, we'll go for the middle one. We'll go for the middle one. It's fine. Yeah, we'll go for this. Um, uh, I, do you know what, Mr... I can't read what it says. So I need to move near the screen. Uh, Mr. Vuk Yu, <laughs> I'm not saying that quickly. Did you know that Penj means money in Danish? Yes, I did. I was aware of this. And I think, does it mean coin in another language as well, similar around that part of the world? I know it means money in Danish, but does it mean coin at some point somewhere else? I think it might. I think somebody's told me that. Or they've translated money as coin, I don't know. Uh, right, okay, let's get on with the show. So here we go. Right, map settings, medium, uh, or an island. That sounds quite nice. We'll go for an island. Ooh, choose a land. Change. Oh, oh, right. This is, oh, right. This is the land. Okay, right. I see. I just thought this was a pleasant sort of background thing. Um, okay. Can we, can we move around the land? It, it looks nice. There are many fish over here, which I imagine is a good thing. That is a good thing. Um, a Percy pig sweets are nice. I haven't had a Percy pig sweet for ages. If people don't know what they are, they're like pig faces. Percy Pig Sweets. They're like sort of pink pig faces. They're, yeah, they're very good. It's been a long while since I've had them. Um, Pen Penja is Norwegian for money. Oh, Dave, Dave, wee hours. You're, you're too kind. Too kind, my good sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we'll have to we'll have to try and put... I don't know if we can put people in this. I don't know if we can put people in. Like if we can just grab people's names and put them into characters or whatever. Um, do you know what? That, that looks good to me. I don't really know what I'm looking at here. I mean, it looks nice. There's an island there with rocks. And there's an island here with rocks and trees. But over here, there's loads of fish, which I can only imagine is a positive thing. In fact, there's loads of fish. <laughs> good grief. Yeah, that's quite good. Okay, right, here we go. We'll accept this. Um, yeah, there's just some controls. Yeah, look, I can move about and stuff. The, the mouse wheel seems to be working backwards, which is a little bit strange. So if I zoom, if I push forward, it goes backwards. We might have to go and change that in the settings. Um, okay, right. We'll accept that. Choose your banner. Oh, nobody told me there was exciting stuff like this involved. Um, oh, I quite like that. 
That's very good. However, we might have to go for either the blue or the yellow for Geek Cupboard corporate colours going on. How about the blue? We'll go for the blue. It's got a lovely cuddly line on it. That's quite nice. Look, he's wearing a crown and it looks... Yeah, the crown looks good. Good, good pointy bits on the crown. I like a crown with good pointy bits because then, you know, if the, if the owner of the crown, be it king or queen or princess or whatever, if they're in trouble, they can take off their crown and then just, you know, jab people with it. We could then get can use it as a weapon. We sort of saw that a bit. We had the idea of it in Crusader Kings. So, um, so yeah, we'll go for that one, I think. Somebody's put the Crystal Maze one. That's a, that's a D20. Dovaloids, it's a D20, man. Come on. 20-sided dice. 20-sided dice. Um, yeah, we'll go for that one. I like I like that. Geek Cupboard Blue. We'll go for that one, I think. Um, yeah, Dave is right. These streams are as, <laughs> as rare as hen's teeth. I know Dave likes to explain that. I'll explain. I'll explain. So the saying, you know, because it's as rare as hen's teeth, it's because the hens don't have teeth. So if you found a hen with teeth, that would be a rare thing because you, know, you don't normally find hens with teeth. That That's why that's what that phrase means. Anyway, there we go. That'll do. Uh, right, we'll have that banner. Oh, does it do that every time? Hang on. Can we do that again? <laughs> that's it. Stream over. We're just going to do that for an hour. Oh, well, that's nice. Right, now what should we call our place? What should we call our place? Oh, hang on. When it comes to picking your starting place, make sure you're near lots of dark green land. Good for growing. Okay, that's fine. I'm hoping we can pause it when we go in and have a little look around. Um, okay, yes. What shall we call our kingdom? Uh, yeah, go on. Absolutely. Go and um, go uh, name, name it, everybody. In the comments, name the kingdom and we'll pick the best one. Now's your chance to name this place. And we'll just see what's going on. The banner is good. I do like the banner. It looks like a nice friendly lion wearing a crown, which is all very lovely. Um, and blue, yes, it does look majestic. Um, X Torture, what's Pokemon Coliseum? I don't know what that is. I mean, you can play it, but I played, I've got my, my son plays Pokemon with the cards and he always beats me <laughs> somehow. Every, every time I lose Pokemon the card game every time but then he does have some very good cards he's got some very very good cards new tealand new tealand is tealand is brilliant uh, we're gonna go <laughs> new tealand is amazing that is very good <laughs> well, hang on hang on have i never thought of that before in any uh, i've been doing this for five years five years i've been doing this and i've never ever thought of that i've never thought of new tealand it's the most obvious thing oh dear um, yeah, I, I like New Zealand. That's that's wonderful. There are some other good ones there. There's some very good Geektopia. Yeah, we've had some similar to that in other ones. I mean, Cupboard Land, classic. Very good. I like Cupboard Land. Uh, Geektopia. Yeah, we've had Geek Hampton or that Peng <laughs> Penge Land. That sounds like a really awful theme park. That nobody wants to go to. The Realm of the Star Baker. I like that, but the Star Baker is up on high. The Star Baker is celestial and is eternal and is forever. They wouldn't come here and set up this. They wouldn't set up fish or anything. They're not bothered. Oh, Lisa, Lisa C. Thank you so much. That is that is very generous. Thank you for doing this today. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's taken so long to get around to doing one of these. I've been looking forward to it a great deal. So no, no, th thanks go to you. Thank you so much. That is that is tremendously generous of you. Stone Penge. That sounds like a <laughs> sounds like something people might want to do if I've committed some sort of misdemeanor. Sounds terrible. Um. The, the Isle of Bernard is... I like the Isle of Bernard. That is very good. Now, I, I like New Zealand. I'm amazed that I've never used that before. <laughs> I am amazed. Right, hang on. Hang on. I need to have some tea before we kick all this off. And then it can all go... I mean, to be fair, my hopes are low, shall we say, for New Zealand. I imagine that things might go a bit wrong on our first run. So New Zealand can be a little bit of a training exercise. And then we'll come back with Stonepenge afterwards. Uh, but hang on. Tea is required. Very nice. In a proper Geek Cupboard mug as well. Um, right, here we go. Yeah, let's get on with this. So accept. Uh, build your keep near fertile land, trees and stone. Right, hang on, hang on. Very important. Is Spacebar put? Spacebar's pause. Spacebar is pause. Ra round of applause. Round of applause. Well done, game. Good job, game. Good job. Um, no, <laughs> they call it no coffee land. <laughs> um, hang on. This, this zooming thing is going gonna, is gonna, is gonna to confuse me. Hang on a second. Invert zoom. Um, because yeah, it was zooming out when I was pushing the mouse forward, which goes against all of my goes all against all of how I do things. Um, okay, 
So, pause time. Let's have a look around. So, there's lots of fertile land there. That looks good. And there's some stone. And there's some trees. And there's some rocks. And where have all... Hang on. Where have all the fish... Oh, no, the fish are over here. Right. I kind of think maybe we want to start near the fish. Because can we not go and, you know, fish them and get fish, I suppose. Can we not do that? Can we not get that sorted? But there's no green over there. There's no dark green as such. There is a lot of... There's a lot of trees over there. And a lot of stone. But not too much else. There's a great big lump of iron over there. Okay. That island looks promising in terms of many different resources. Oh, this this one's big, though. This island is huge. Oh, there's, there's 12 bazillion fish over there as well. Hang on. There are many fish. Yeah, indeed. This is this is good. This is good. Um, yeah, we'll start over here. This place looks good. So if we set up over, I don't really know, here somewhere, and then we're near to green land, which is fertile, and there's some stone, and there are trees. You can tell they're trees because they look green and pointing like trees. So there we go. There we go. <laughs> this is a dilemma in fertile land, but lots of fish. Yeah, we'll go over here, I think. We'll go over here. I mean, yeah, the maximum zoom we can zoom out is there. That island looks certainly bigger than the other one. It goes on quite well. Ah, and there's some iron at the top. Okay, that's good. And then stone iron. Yeah, this island feels a bit smaller. That maybe could be where we go to next. Well, we'll start over here. Because I've I've no idea how difficult it is to travel between these. I mean, in terms of what we know... Do we know what a boat is? Are we aware of a boat? I don't know. Somebody's put, don't let the wolves get you. Um, hang on. Are there wolves? I don't know. Ooh. Ah, yes. Are they caves of some sort? Is that a cave? Birds. Birds. I've, the, the game is paused, birds. How dare you defy the laws of physics? Yeah, are they caves? They might possibly be caves. Um... Okay, right. We'll have to be a little bit wary of them. We'll get some people to go and stabby-stab the cave. Well, not the caves. That would be pointless stabby-stabbing the cave. That would be a terrible military decision. No, stabby-stab the wolves. That would be fine. Um, yeah, okay. That's fine. Oh, look at that. Uh, is it Saraj? Um, I, put, I put one in the morning in India. That is dedication. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> one o'clock in the morning. Good grief. Um, okay, here we go. Right, so build a keep. There, ah, well, okay, a castle. Um, okay, a keep. Oh, my goodness me. There are many, many bits. Ooh, shooty ballista tower things. A treasure room. I like the sound of that. Um, okay, so a keep can go here. A middle mass but an R to rotate building. I know, let's put it, where's the front? Is there a front? Okay, we need to add to this. Okay, this is basic, and then we're just going to build around it, I think. Um... Okay, we'll put that there. Um, how long are you going to stream for? Um, don't know, maybe another two and a bit? Three hours? Oh, Jumi of Ruby said it's 2.22 where you are. That's remarkable. <laughs> I, I won't be offended if you go to bed. It's fine. It's like 20 past two in the morning. Um, yeah, okay. Let's put that down there. I mean, that might be too near some of this green land, but there is plenty of lovely green land over there. So we'll put that down, I don't know, there, because that seems fun. Um, okay, congratulations. New Tealand, brilliant, has grown to become a quiet hamlet. Okay, that's good. Right, so now I think we need to move time on a bit. Uh, ah, right, okay. There are people building stuff. How many people have we got? So we've got five people, um, two are idle, and we have no beds. Okay, let's let them finish this first. Right, buildy build. Ooh, there we go. Right, some more sort of uh, sort of uh, music there. There's more horn playing. Um, okay, so there's a... Oh, hang on. There's a fire risk. Okay, hang on a minute. We This might burn down. It's made of stone. It's mostly made of stone. This bit might burn down. Let's see how the stone bits will go. Uh, right, okay. So now I imagine under town there's going to be some sort of house. A hovel. Oh, that's nice is it is is that nice okay here we go here we go um 10 p.m in finland um is it your first stream that uh, says x001 um i've been watching you for a while and never seen one it's not my first stream but they are very very rare i sort of went into it a bit early but um yeah one i'm just disorganized and never get things together and two 
the children are normally around and about going to bed at this time. But the children aren't here, so hooray, so I can do a stream and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, right, okay. So we need to get, hang on, how much wood have we got? 12 wood. We can build one hovel and everybody can live in the hovel, which is lovely. Okay, do you know what? Let's, uh, that's too far away from our road, sire. Okay, I think we should start with building some roads. Okay, here we go. Let's get a road. Um, okay, can we... How, does, how do we turn the road around? I don't want the road pointing that way. Um, okay, hang on, hang on. Look, that it makes sense for the road to go like this, would it? Let's use three of our, whatever it is, wood, to lay out a road. Okay, here we go. So, buildy build the road. Are there people? Oh, there are little people! There's little... Oh, they're quite cute. I like them. Oh, cracky, you can zoom in. Um, yeah, they're fun. Hello, little person. Can we find out who you are? You're Joseph and you're 23. Oh, this is this is wonderful. Okay. Hello, Joseph. How are you? Can we change your name? Unfortunately not. Okay. Hello, Joseph. Who have we got? This is great. Joseph uh, Levite would like a place to live. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, indeed. That that That's sensible. Yep. Yeah. Um, you are Ruby... <laughs> You're Ruby One Kenobi. Okay, you would like a place to live. Okay. <laughs> um, you are Andy Moore. I mean, I mean, it's yeah, it's a good solid name, but it's a, certainly a, a dip in excitement compared to Ruby One Kenobi. Um, and haven't we got five people? That's oh, hang on. There's somebody just there. There's somebody there. Mog Van Teen, Teen, Tyn, maybe. You're 28 years old. Okay, so there's our five people. Right, we might need to get some... Uh, we need to get a house now. We can get a little hovel in now, which is exciting. Um, there we go. There we go. Um, okay, I saw a video earlier today of a game called Lords and Villains. In case you haven't heard about it, it might be something you'll like. I have played it. I've played it a little while ago now. It was a while ago. But um, but yeah, I've, I've played Lords and Villains. I think it went into... Did it go into, like, full release or early access or so? It went up a version, didn't it? I can't quite recall. They did email me and said, hey, do you want to play this game? And I, was, well, I have played it. Plus, there's a billion other things going on. So, um, yeah, it, it, it's good. It's a good game, as I recall. It's a good sort of uh, sort of city builder, dynasty managing sort of game. Um, yeah, let's put Hovel just there because people want a house. So there we go. Buildy build a house. You all sort of hop in. That's where we keep everything. Okay, so that's like a resource kind of thing. Andy Moore sounds like an MP. <laughs> Maybe he can be the MP. He can be the he can be the member of of uh, I don't know New Zealand's Parliament. Uh, there we go. Right. Oh, lots of happy faces. Wonderful stuff. There we go. Right. So people are happy. This is good. Um, somebody put click the magnifying glass. Um, yeah, I did click the magnifying glass. It just takes you to them. So I think you know if you're like that and you press the magnifying glass, it takes you to them. I don't think you can change their names. I don't think we can do anything about that. Uh, unless we can do it there? No. Hang on. We should have a look at what all this is, really. What have we got? We've got four bits of... I assume that's lumber or something. Yeah, so four wood. Got no stone. Is that coal? No coal. 32 bits of food. Yeah, we should probably get on food at some point. Stone. Iron. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Oh, that's like armaments. Okay, and that is... That's tax and stuff. Okay, right. So, what what should we do now? Apart from have some tea, because that will help everything. Hang on. Okay, there we go. Ruby, you've got a place to live. You, I've built you a hovel, Ruby. How how rude! You've got a wonderful hovel to live in. Oh, okay. Do you not live in the hovel? I thought everyone could live in the hovel. Um. Oh, hang on. How's it up to five villagers? Hang on. Ruby, you've got a house. It's fine. We're not building you another one. You can go in there for now. Okay, how do we cut down a tree? How about we go chop? Okay, chop that. Chop that general area over there, please. That would be helpful, because then we've got some more wood and we can build some more stuff. Yeah, somebody else has put food. Food, do <laughs> food does seem important, yes. Um, Yorkie and the Chihuahuas. Hello. Um, uh, you appear in the Discord sometimes, I think, on the... Um on the, the self-promotion bit. Um, yes, uh, help with a real tough day. Well, hopefully this won't be too stressy. I've kind of picked something that's a little bit not quite as difficult as other things. I did a stream with Civ once, one of the very few streams I've ever done. 
was with Civilization, and that was quite Civ is quite an intense game, and I think trying to read the chat and do everything else and play Civ it was quite it was quite tricky to do. Um, why is there an exclamation above there? Why is why is there a thing float? What do I need to do? Ooh! Oh, there's little people. Hello, agriculture. We oh, yeah, are agriculture. Click an advisor. Hello, agriculture. Good day, sire. We need farms. Okay. Yes, that would that would make sense, wouldn't it? Hang on. So city, uh, roads, then houses. Military. It just says good day. Good day. You're hopeless. Away with you. Okay. Right. There we go. Right. So we've got we've collected some wood. So I thought possibly let's get let's get some food in. So I've got an eye on the chat there. Yoda about Jess. Hello. This is very exciting. Hello. Oh, is somebody going to bed? Ah, oh, yeah. Good night, Saraj. Good night. Thank you. Thank you for popping by, even at all. I'm I'm amazed because uh, yeah, some people here are very strange time zone. So if you are one of those, then thank you for popping by. It is it is most wonderful of you. Um, here we go. So let's get another road. Bring the road down here. So that's another six bits of wood. But then we can put farms over here. What's that? That's barren. But this here is very fertile land. That's good. We'll have some lovely farms going along over there. Um, but however, let, let's unpause the game. Actually, do you know what? Get time going on. Oh, it's a bit it's a bit wintry. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully we've got enough food to get through winter and out the other end. Um, is there any point putting a farm down? I, I suspect there might not be. What else can we build? Can we build anything castle-y? We can build a wooden castle wall, and that's kind of it. Uh, we could we could build another hovel. Hang on, that land there is rubbish, isn't it? That's barren land. Do you know what? I'm going to treat everybody. Have another hovel. I'm nice like that. And then, um, yes, a well might be useful. Ten stone. While it's all sort of cold and what have you, why don't we... Uh, can we get chop? Can we... Do we chop stone? I don't know how that works. Is that what we do? I don't know. How do we get the stone? Or do we need something special to get stone? Does anybody know what's going on there? I don't know. Um, okay, never mind, never mind. I'm sure we'll muddle through. But there you go, they're building a house at least. And person over there, bringing back a lot of wood, which is wonderful. Um, four people visited, but none could find a home. Oh, hang on, hang on. People visited... Who visited? We haven't got anything ready for them to look at. There's no sites. There's no tea shop. It's This is shocking stuff. Sorry, visitors. That's just awful. Um, okay, right. There we go. Uh, and Jess telling everyone to lick the stream. Yep, yep, do that, please. I don't know how you'd do that, but yep, do that there. Um, I think you need the mine for the stone. Hang on. Industry. Is that a mine in there? Um, that's an iron mine. That's a forester. A mason repairs damage things. A quarry. Ah, produces stone. Build near light-coloured stone. Okay, that would make sense. We'll have to build the forester over there. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa C. <laughs> that is brilliant. Um, yes, the stream does probably likely taste a bit like tea. Most things here do taste a bit tea-ish. In fact, speaking of tea, here we go. Quick poll, actually. Poll, poll, whatever. Um, how, how do you... Um, who's got tea? Who has tea? Has anybody got tea? I really hope at least a few people have got some tea. I'd, I've made a special tea sort of heads up thing about 30 seconds before it needed to go live. That was a bit of a last minute impromptu thing. Um, no, the the things down here, the pickaxe thing down there is rebuild. So I think if something gets damaged, you can rebuild it with this. Um, no, you need to put something down to get the stone. Okay, so now I think farms. Three of those, three wood. So I have one. And two, and oh, that'll do actually. Because oh no, hang on, hang on, hang on. What? We've got forward. Oh, because it takes it away when you hover over it, does it? Oh yeah, there you go. We'll have three farms, please. I don't know if that's too ambitious or not. Um. Oh look, people have got tea. Orca grown has put us <laughs> a snowman. Was there a snowman? Did I miss a Did I miss a snowman? Um. Mark Davis Overloids has got. He's got tea, not cider. Definitely not. Um, somebody's cleaning the cat's litter buckets. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Someone's got tea. Someone's got rum. Goodness. Tea in hand. Candy's got grabbing tea. Philip's got coffee. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. We will send round... Hang on. Pause time. We'll send round the rand, uh, the, uh, the the penguins. We'll send round the, uh, the geek cupboard penguins of doom. 
to go and sort that out. We can't have people drinking coffee. Goodness me, what is this? Um, hang on then, beer, a kind of alcoholic tea. Sort of a bit like that. I had some beer last weekend. <laughs> Possibly slightly too much beer, but never mind, never mind. The less said about that, the better. Um, okay, right, can we get some more trees? Let's chop down... But we're going to need to get over here. So if we get rid of all of those, and then we can build down here near that stone. So that might be a good idea. So here we go. Right, speed time on. Um, can we please get some more visitors now? That would be good. Because then people can move in and we'll have more workforce. So I think now three people are in the... Oh, hang on. Two more people have moved in. Hello, new people. Okay. So we've got seven people. Only two found... Ah, three people visited, but only two found a home. Okay. Um, oh no, somebody else has got coffee. The Doom Penguins will make their way over, but they get very easily distracted, do the Doom Penguins. They get very distracted. So, um, so yes, we'll, we'll wait and see if they get that. Oh, look, food. Food has appeared. I don't quite know what food that is. What are we eating exactly? We're eating, like, grain or wheat or whatever that was. I don't know. I'm sure we've... I'm, surely you need to do something with that. Turn it into an actual edible product i don't know um yeah somebody's put put down a forester uh, so i can't even imagine penge on beer i just i speak even more nonsense on beer um i'm sure yeah um mark mark davies in the chat there we will have had beer together i don't know if i've ever got particularly overly drunk but i just talk more nonsense i think i just talk even more gibberish than i'm doing now which is hard to believe um okay it says where are they moving in from says anna sharma it's a good question it's a very good question, because I don't know how they're getting here. You have to boat their way in. Okay, there we go. Year three. I kind of feel like we should have had more at the point of year three. Hang on, let's get another hovel in. We'll put another hovel there. How much is a hovel again? It was five, wasn't it? Let's put two more hovels in, and then we might have lots and lots of houses for people to move into when they sort of you know, pop over here. And then let's get us the stone maker thing. Where was that? The quarry. That's it. The word. That's the word. The stonemaker thing. Too far away from our roads. Oh, botherations. Okay, hang on. Roady roads. Um, yeah, bring a road along there like that. That sounds like a plan. Roads can only go on cleared land, sire. No oh, bother. Okay, trees, farewell. Progress is coming. Sorry, trees. Away with you. Um, Anna B says, did I go out out? Yes. For a number of reasons. I won't go into them here, but there were, there were a number of reasons, but uh, yes, for the first time in a long time, I um, I met up with my friends uh, last weekend, who I haven't seen in a long, long time, and Friday night went out, and Saturday we went out, and I went to the kicky ball match, watched the kicky ball, and then, um, and then yeah, went out and had beers and had food, and it was all very good, it was very lovely, but, uh, but uh, yes, possibly, well, maybe the Friday we might have had, not loads, but we had more beers, Saturday was more measured. Because I knew I was going home on the Sunday. I don't want to go home to look after the kids with a, you know, a headache and a hangover and such. I was planning ahead, you see. Very rare, but planning ahead. Uh, here we go. The keep has storage, but not enough. Oh, hang on, hang on. Do we need some stores? Small stockpile. Ah, right, we need to get this thing in. Can somebody chop this tree down, please? There we go. Right, hang on. Road. Tie that together. And then quarry can go must be adjacent to usable stone oh, crikey <laughs> it's going right in there okay that's fine i kind of feel like that needs a road going to it it just as the sake of completeness i know it's within range of road but it should be should be like that um siphon says enjoying a, a I, don't, I never know how you say the name of this tea is it rubois rubois Ru, Ru, rubois i don't know how you say it i don't know how you say it but they're enjoying one of those teas in South Africa. This is very exciting. There are many people who <laughs> love your work, maybe not your math work. I'm very good at numbers. I can count all the way up to 10, and then if I take my socks off, up to 20. It's brilliant. Okay, how are we doing? Right, we might need some more food, possibly. So let's get... Let, jo, let's chop some trees down. That might be a good idea. Let's do that. Choppity chop all of those trees away. Right, now we're getting stone as well. This is very good. This is good stuff. So all those trees can go, and we're getting stone, which means we can get, uh, at some point, a well. What do we need? Ten stone. We've got one. Okay, it's fine. We'll get there. We might want to put a, like a storage yard over there or whatever, when we can make one. A small stockpile 
requires three stone. Okay, hang on. Move time on nice and quick. Where's our stone going? Hang on. What? Where did the stone go? Do we not just have some stone? I thought we had some stone. <laughs> Where did that go? Um, hang on. Come out of that. Away. Uh, yeah, we've got one now. Are they using it to maintain the castle or something? Is the castle getting a little bit crumbly and they've repaired the castle, possibly? Yeah, look, it just went up to three and then it's come down again. <laughs> Who's nicking me stone? Who's nicking my stone? Um, oh, hang on. Somebody said how to pronounce that that thing. Somebody said that there. Lee, Lee Davies, shout out. Shout out to you right there. Is that what you do for shout outs? I don't know. Shout out, we, you, there. I don't know. How do you do a shout out? You say their name, don't you? Is that it? Um, okay, yeah. Wells are your friends, people are saying. Uh, here we go. Here we go. We've now got plenty of that. So what we'll do is we'll get us a small stockpile. We'll pop that. Just, uh, I don't even know what that sticky out bit is. Um, is that a way on? Is that like a ramp or something? Oh, yeah, it's steps. It can go just there like that. That'll do. So that means they don't have to store the stone all the way over there. They can go to there. And then, yep, yep, I hear everybody. A well. A lovely, lovely well. Let's pop that on that corner. That makes sense. This can be a sort of centre of sorts. And then I think we might possibly... I mean, I know now isn't the best time. Ooh. Orchards. We can have some other food. <laughs> that might be quite nice. Um, a granary probably would not be a bad... A bad thing there. That's not too bad a thing. Um, or, yeah, an orchard does sound good. Where would we put orchards? How about... Hang on, we can't build on that, can we? That's barren. So how about... Uh, get a road. Roady road kind of over that way. All the way... Put it there. We might need to build something there to go out into the sea. But we'll have that down. And then... Let's get a small granary. I like the sound of that. So we'll put one of those... Um, there like that and then we'll have some more fields let's get some more fields here so we'll have farm 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 and then across here in fact, how about there look how about there oh hang on we might need a tiny bit more wood actually we might need a bit more wood hang on um choppity chop those trees and those two as well they can go get some wood and then we'll put an orchard down maybe if we can a couple of orchards might be quite nice this is all very good uh, yeah, Dave, Dave does have the wrench. We Hours has got the wrench. <laughs> so yes, behave. Or you'll get we hours if that's a verb. I think I just made it a verb. But uh, but yeah, so yes, Dave is Dave is the resident mod at the moment. Um, okay, shoot. Oh, hang on. That's a... a she da Cassiopeia. I've pronounced that all sorts of wrong. Goodness me, that's a very long name. She da Cassiopeia. Maybe. Um, I remember saying you're a programmer for a living. What languages do you code with? Um, I code mainly in SQL. So mostly Oracle SQL specifically, but it's sort of all a similar thing. But yes, Oracle SQL um, and Apex and stuff. But doing other... So Apex is like a, build, a building tool thing. But then I've been doing some other stuff as well. So I've been doing... Um, sort of uh, more ordinary SQL to do with sort of interfacing systems and such. But there we go. Lots of people have just gone, yeah, yeah, talking about SQL, oh, have a little sleep. So, uh, yeah, let's let's not talk about that anymore. Have a bit more tea instead. Don't mention the, don't mention the Todd. We're not talking of Todd. We're not talking about him. There's revelations about the spicy man. Uh, we'll bring that over like that. Let's bring a road out there. Right, here we go. Can we get in? I think I just... Did I just talk through an entire year about nonsense? Maybe I did. Um, an orchard. Let's get... Ooh, they're big. Orchards are big. Let's have an orchard. Just there. That's fun. So we've got a little sort of farming district here. Do you know what? Because I do... I do love a road network. Let's connect that up at the end there. Just for the sake of it. There we go. Um, people visited but could not find a home. Oh, okay. Hang on. More houses required. Can we build proper houses? Yes, we can. If we save up, we can build a cottage. Is there not the option to build a forester? We need 15 wood. Okay, that might be a good idea to build a forester somewhere over here where there's, you know, forests that might help. So I think if we get rid of that now, so get rid of those, that'll do the job. And we'll get rid of, keep getting rid of stuff up here, actually, that as well. So we're going to chop that down. And then down here somewhere, we will place a forester. Because that might, uh, but that might 
that might help a bit. Um, yeah, I'm sorry it was boring. Well, it's not boring. Like, you know, it's what I do. It's what I do every day. But um, about the coding stuff. But yeah, other people might be there going, "What SQL? What what are you on about? These are just meaningless letters." So um, yeah, a few people, a few people might be confused. I've just realised. Yeah, Dave's got the power. Dave's got admin power. He can um, he can he can remove all the things about Cakeus and, and promote Spicy Todd and his tax evasion techniques. I've made a grave mistake here. This is a terrible thing that's happened. I just found a dead moth on my keyboard. <laughs> ha hang on. Hang on. Haven't you been at your computer for a while, Jess? You must have been there for a while. So, have you only just noticed? Or has it just literally died and fallen upon your keyboard? I don't know. Um, right, Forester. Let's put the Forester. Clear the trees. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought they might need to be in the middle of some trees. Oh, okay. Can we put them there? Um, I mean, ideally, could we bring them down here? That would be perfect. If they were sort of in there, maybe, that would be good. Hang on, hang on. What we'll do is, there's a space there. We'll clear that, and then we'll clear that, and that, and then we'll put a road, and they can live there, and it shall all be glorious and amazing. There we go. It's all fine. Um, Todd doesn't need to self-promote. The truth is self-evident. The truth is cake. The truth is cake, Dave. We all know this to be the case. Um, here we go. Somebody else saying it's not boring. I would love to hear some more of it. You don't want to hear more about SQL programming. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear any more about that. I don't want to hear more about that. I do it every day. Um, hang on, hang on. What was it? Oh, yeah, Forrester. That's what we're doing. There we go. Right, Forrester. In you go. Kind of, I mean, that's going to be hard to wind your way through the trees to get the resources out. And then possibly over here... Can we have another stockpile just so you can put the stuff there without having to go all the way over there? What are our advisors saying? Hello. Um, food is running low. Is it? I've got 50 food out of 250. Nah, I, I, you're fine. Out you go. Um, let's make life better. Try building nice large houses or other things the peasants might enjoy. And the military person who says, good day, sire. Good day. Everything's fine. Um, there we go. We've got some... Uh, ooh. That was a massive load of food there. Yeah, I, uh, Chappie's talking nonsense. Right, can we build some cottages? Yes, we can build... Okay, some... We can build one cottage. That's fine. We'll build it... Is there a front? Is there a front to this cottage? Like that. Okay, how about then? If we build it like that, and then we can have a road going up that way. Because I love a road. Okay, hang on. Roady road... Road going up. That, ooh, you can make the roads all wibbly. That's fun. Uh, there we go. Right, like that'll do. And then we'll put some more some more things around there. We'll put another cottage around there, if we can. Right, Forester Face, what are you doing? You are presumably producing wood. 24 wood per year. Okay, that seems like a good amount, if not spectacular. Right, somebody go and get those so we can build some more stuff. Um, okay. Right, what have we got going on first? Live stream. Ah, Kit... Uh, hang on, was it? Kit Kat, Crafts and K-pop. Wow. That, that's a good mix. Crafts and K-pop. Does it complement... You know, does doing crafts while listening to K-pop help? Does it you know, encourage creativity? I imagine it would. Um, that's exciting stuff. Um, hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me come out of that a second. Oh, no, not like that game. Did I? Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Um... I think I missed a thing, didn't I? Yes, Aramina, Aramina Madbird. Thank you very much. You've been on the channel for ages. My goodness, you've been around for for many years. The channel's what five years old. You must be at least. It must have been at least a three years now, if not a bit more, possibly. Goodness, thank you so much. That is very generous of you. Thank you very much. I was going to call this ad block tax, but then remembered I don't ad block YouTube. Consider it a pint or something instead. Thank you. That is very very generous. Yes. Well, um, I'll use it for. Use it for uh, tea and beer and snacks and cake and stuff. <gasps> New Tealand is now a small village. Starting to get the hang of this governing thing. Mm, <laughs> I won't say that. However, I do like the... Uh, I like the fireworks. Or the confetti or whatever it is. The, I don't know, sand they're throwing in my face. I don't know, that stuff. That's fun. Right. Everything seems to be ticking over quite nicely. I think another cottage would not be about... Oh, a manor. Oh, that requires gold and stuff. Uh, another one of those would not go amiss. Get another one of those in. 
and then we will have plenty of extra housings. So when people come here on their holidays, they look at it and go, do you know what? I'm going to stay there and that'll be absolutely fine. I think food is looking fine. Right, what else can we build now then? Oh, we can build a wonderful castle. I mean, it's a shame we're building around the castle a bit. Should I be building here, everybody? <laughs> it kind of feels like I should be... Or is that just our centre? That's our home and court. I mean, what, what, how do we build the big castle-y bits? There's all sorts of extra stuff here. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we've done that. Maybe we've done that a bit wrong. Okay, never mind. It's fine. We'll, we'll muddle through. Uh, what else can we do? Produce storage. Stores fruit. Ah, right. We might need one of those. That might help a bit. Let's put one of those there. That could be handy so the fruit can go there. And then, can we get another orchard? Pop that in. And then, are there different types of fields? I press the right button. That might help. Um, just farms. Just little farms. Okay, do you know what? We'll have farm, 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 farm. And this whole bit here can be a great big sort of farming area. And that should keep us going for food for a good, good long time. Um, okay, yeah, somebody's saying that's just the centre of our settlement. So that's the centre. That's where we live, I think it says. Yes, yeah, so our home and court. But the castle can be built anywhere else. Okay, thank you. That is that is good to know. Um, Jumi of Ruby says, I put your videos on in the background when I'm doing linguistics work. It helps me, helps me calm down because your voice is very soothing. Is it? <laughs> Is it soothing? Okay, that's good. That is good to know. Um, I am glad it is helpful. A orchid grinder. Thank you so much. Oh, you've got a little animated stickery thing. There's a person with a giant cup of... Are they, are they spitting out a cup of tea? <laughs> I'm going to assume it's tea. Wow. I know you could do that. That's exciting. Thank you. Thank you so much. That is very, very generous of you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is. Is that a sticker or something? That's exciting. Um, yeah, somebody says uh, Red Fusion. Hello. Um, says they're watching the rewatching the uh, King, uh, Crusader King three playlist. It is most marvelous indeed. Lots of people um, asking if we're going to go back to Crusader King three. Lots of people saying, please go back and do another series. We will go and do another Crusader Kings three series, um, but when there's more DLC, because as it stands right now, there's not much going on with it that's different to last time. I think there's a few little bits. I think they did quite a lot of the Viking stuff because they were quite popular. They did a lot of sort of Viking stuff. Um, so there's a little bit of that. But if we were going to do it again, we'd wait for some DLC to come out that adds fundamental big changes. There's a little bit of a fire. Tiny bit of a fire. However, there is a well. <laughs> Phew. Okay, that could have gone horribly wrong, couldn't it? Ooh. Hang on, hang on. Possibly need some more wells. Hang on. Let's dot some more wells around the place, shall we? Um, yeah, let's put a well over there. Hang on. Now I'm terrified by the fires. Uh, we'll put a well down. Uh, oh, no. Can we get another well? Where is it? We need some more stone. Uh, yeah, so yeah, CK3 while everything burns down. Uh, Crusader Kings. Yeah, we'll go back when there's more DLC. Um, and we'll probably be somewhere else. Because I think we've done the whole Europe thing. Unless the DLC is some sort of massive overhaul of the European bit of CK3. Uh, we might go somewhere else. So, I don't know, maybe go to Africa somewhere. Try and you know, unite Africa and all that kind of stuff. Or go to, I don't know, Russia or India or somewhere else. Go and do something a little bit different. It might be quite exciting, if a bit challenging, to, um, to try and do the... Uh, try and fight off uh, when the Mongol Empire rises the big one, um, it might be quite fun to be over there and try and fight them. That could be an interesting sort of thing. So we'll have a look at that as well. Well, hang on, I missed a thing. I missed a thing. Um, hang on, hang on. Um, Candied Skull, oh, thank you, thank you. Here's my ad block tax. <laughs> Joe, it, that's okay, it's fine. Uh, and a thank you for the lovely entertainment and video style that has helped keep life sane. It is my pleasure, it's my pleasure. I always say the thanks should go to all you lovely folk out there because if it, I always say this, but if it wasn't for you watching, if you didn't watch this, then I would essentially just be a person in a room shouting at themselves. So you you make it what it is. If it wasn't for you, like, I'd just be just sort of chuntering away to myself in a room. Um, yeah, let's put a well down here as well. There we go. As well, a well, a well. Um, okay, right. We've got fire safety provisions in. Apart from over here. I'm sure it'll be fine. That That's not going to be on fire, is it? That's going to be okay. Um, Okay, right. What do we need to do now? What is the thing? Somebody said, Ms. Wal... Ms. Uh, Misael Jusela? I get apologies for the pronunciation. 
Apologies, apologies for all the pronunciations. But uh, I've used your videos to learn English. Goodness, I know. See, this is see to me. I just do. I just go on onto the computer. And I, you know, I record a thing and then I kind of think, yeah, hopefully somebody's enjoyed it. Somebody's had a laugh. Somebody's found it, heaven forbid, somebody's found it useful. Maybe somebody went on and went, that's a useful thing I've just learned there. I mean, I don't imagine that happens very often. But I never really thought that people would learn, like, you know, language or anything from it. I just thought it would be mostly sort of, you know, game-specific learning. That's very interesting. Well, I'm glad to have helped a bit. Um... Where is everyone from, if it's okay to ask? It's a good question. It's a good question, Kit Kat Crafts and K-pop. Good name. It, um, Yeah, it's a good question. It's interesting to find out where folks are from when they're sort of, you know, watching Geek Cupboardy stuff. Um, okay. What do we need now? I'm kind of... There is a game here, isn't there? I keep just sort of looking over at the chat stuff. But, uh, oh, Badger, Badger Actual. Badger Actual, thank you very much. You've got your weird icon thing as well. With a little... I'm going to have to lean in. Hang on. I need to lean closer. <laughs> I should have my glasses on. It's... It's like a little monster. It's a monster sort of... Is it... It's holding out the tea. It's not spitting out. It's holding it out in its very long arms. That's exciting. I like that. They're fun. I don't really know what they are. But yeah, that's good. I like the little monsters. Right, there's a game here somewhere, isn't there? Right, food is fine. I think food, I think we might have <laughs> potentially slightly too much. We're a bit full of... A bit full of fruit. We have slightly too much fruit. Okay, do you know what? Having too much fruit is better than having no fruit at all. We like this. Oh, I think I've just... Did I just tell you to chop that down? I didn't mean to. Whatever, it's fine. Um, okay, what do we need to build now? A town square. Hold, festi hold festivals. Yes, we're having one of those. Let's put that just... Let's put that over here, shall we? On this corner here. That could be quite nice. Pop that down. They can have festivals. Yeah, is that happiness there? That's health. That's happiness. Ah, okay. Maybe we need to get some people people slightly happier. Right, hang on. I missed all the stuff. I missed where everybody's from. Hang on a minute. Oh, crikey. Ah, oh, there's, there's a bajillion things. Scotland, India, UK, Ireland. <laughs> Ireland, how to run a medieval pub. <laughs> Maybe it'll come in handy. I don't know. Um... Germany, England, US, Florida, Oklahoma. Wow. Poland, Scotland, Glasgow, Finland. Wow. There are many people. West Yorkshire. Good job with the T there. Well done. Um, Wales. Oh, I didn't go to Wales this year. Sad. I like Wales. Um, the Dutch living in Dubai. Wow. Um, Michigan. Vegas. Ah, oh, Vegas. I got married in Vegas, everybody. There you go. A little fact that you get from coming on the streams. I got married in Vegas. Um, it was planned. It wasn't like a unexpected sort of thing. We, we planned it. We went specifically to get married there. We did go before as well. Um, yeah, it's exciting, isn't it? Many of the Switzerland, Alabama. Oh, hang on. Um, Orca Grand. I need to approve that for some reason. There you go. That was weird. Um, oh, Badger, 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 badger. <laughs> badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Um, yeah, good. I like that. Oh, my goodness me. There's many. Cheshire, Norway, St. Lucia. Yes, Mel. Hi, Mel. You're, are you, how is the, how is the, um, how's the weather today? Can you go and sit on the beach? Because I, I went to town earlier and I came back. Oh, there's a game. Um, I came back on, um, so I went to town on a scooter like an e-scooter because we have them around Northampton now they've got little e-scooters and you can you sort of bip them with an app and then you get the scooter they just dotted around the place you can find where they are on a map and then you drive to where you want to go and then you get off and you say I'm done and you take a picture of it and that's it and you get charged a little bit of money so it cost me I don't know it was in four pound I don't think to get into town so that's about the same fare as the bus but it was quicker and I got to go on a scooter, which is fun. Electric scooter. 50 miles an hour. It's great. Um, but on the way back, because I went on the scooter, so I had to go back on the scooter, um, it rained a lot. There was there was much in the way of rain, and I got very, very, very soaked on the way back. It was proper pouring down. So, um, so yeah, not jealous at all, Mel. Not jealous, jealous at all. <laughs> the fact that you can just go to a beach... When we go to a beach, it's like a novelty thing. It's like a proper, like, an event. It's like, right, everyone, we're going to the beach. The kids will celebrate. It's a joyous moment indeed. You can just go to the beach whenever. That's amazing. Um, this one's in Bristol. Uh, no, it wasn't a shotgun wedding in Vegas. No, it was 
It was organized and planned. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, uh, what else is going on? My dog's name is Badger. I'm just going to keep saying Badger. Good boy. There we go. Chris, yes, somebody's uh, creamy goodness. His uh, dog's name is Badger. Good name. Uh, but yeah, it's raining. I don't know if you can actually hear the rain. It's not that bad at the minute. Because normally, when I'm recording, I um, I record in one bit of software. And then I do the noise processing on that bit of software. So I get rid of all the background noises and the hums of the computer. And if the window's open, it gets rid of all that kind of stuff. But because I'm doing this, obviously, live, there is... um, I can't do that. I can't sort of get rid of the ambient noise around the place. So the window is open a little bit to let some air in. But I don't know if you can hear that, but there is a tiny rain noise. You might not be able to hear it. You might be able to hear the hum as well, because my computer, because the geek cupboard is so very small, um, the computer is, it's here. That's me hitting the side of the computer. Um, it's about, what, foot and a half away from the microphone. Fortunately, it's very quiet. I bought specifically a case that was quiet. It's called be quiet <laughs> it's from the be quiet range and so all the components in it are quiet so hopefully it's not quite as noisy um anyway right hang on i need to be playing this game don't i because there's stuff going on how are we looking oh my goodness me there's like a trillion resources hang on <laughs> hang on let's go for a bit of an advancement of like residences shall we um how about hang on hang on we could have some cottage things there yeah okay bring that up like that and then go here right cottage yes okay so We'll have one, where are the doors? One there, and one there, and then, we'll rotate it round. One there, and one there. There we go. Right, so, more living space for people. We've still got, still got loads of resources left. <laughs> wow, that is marvellous. I haven't been to the seaside since before lockdown. I know, we went, we did go a couple of times. We went, we went to Wales, whilst the lockdown was slightly, slightly, um, sort of uh, lessened last year. In fact, it was when I was in Wales last year that I got the key to Crusader Kings 3. I was in Wales, and I think we were on a beach, in fact, if I remember rightly, and I thought, what's that? That that's, looks exciting. It's from Paradox. And I said, hello, would you like a key to Crusader Kings 3? And I went, yes, please. And then the embargo was the day after we got back. So I literally got back from driving back from Wales and it was um, Pembrokeshire, so it's, you know, a bit further on the bottom of Wales as well, if you don't know Wales, on the south bit. Um, and then, yeah, drove back and then went, OK, that was a good holiday family. Right, I'm going to go and play Crusader Kings 3. And if anybody has ever played Crusader Kings 3, or if they watch the series, you'll know that it's um, it it's not that easy to just pick up and play. It's quite, you know, there's there's some things you need to know about Crusader Kings 3. So, um, so yes, it was very much a sort of a steep learning curve. But yeah, that, that happened the last time I was in Wales. I got the key to Crusader Kings 3 and we went to Pembrokeshire and it was all beautiful and it was it was lovely. It was a very, very nice holiday. It was wonderful. Um, right, hang on. I've kind of um, not not been reading the chat or anything. It's been blabbing away. The beach is always five to ten minutes away, no matter where you are on the island. Mel. <laughs> Mel, Dave, support me on this. Come on, it's not fair. It's not fair. It, she can't be near luxury beaches that's just not right is it <laughs> outrageous it takes me about two or two and a bit hours to get to the sea from where i am you can't really get too much further away from the sea where where i am now uh, right hang on there must be more things we can build now granaries oh hang on we could build a proper granary but we have got loads of food i don't think we need to build food stuff what about all this a charcoal maker produces smoke nearby homes won't light okay do you know what Go over here to the land of industry, charcoal maker. You can go over there. Ah, and we have seven idle people. So that is quite good. That's quite good. So there we go. So we've got people that can go and work in these things. Right, it might be a good idea if we've only got seven idle people to get even more of these things built. Just get a few more of those. That's all good. What happens here? Do we need to do anything here? Um, festival. Cost 50. Oh, yeah. How do we get these? Not enough tax collectors. Make sure treasure rooms are fully set. Oh, right. I see. Okay, that's fine. What's that? Maritime? I did. Have I not noticed this button before? How, did nobody think to point out a button to me? Come on. Come on. <laughs> There's a whole boaty button down here. Drawbridge, stone bridge. Oh, that's very exciting. Hang on. What do we need? 
what do we need? We need, by the look of it, we need gold. We need that down there to build the other stuff. So we need some sort of treasure room. Okay, that's fine. Love you, Cup. You are the best player. Um, I, I mean, it's nice being called Cup. Penge is what people would normally normally refer to me as. Although Cup is nice. I like that. Being called Cup is lovely. Um, Hang on. Right. I'm going to have a bit of tea. Sergeant Gaming Stream says, Wee Hours Games. Hi, I love your stuff too. Yeah, Dave is excellent. If you don't know Wee Hours, uh, Dave over at the Wee Hours, um, Dave, you are, you're absolutely, of course, you are 110% permitted to slap a link in the chat to your channel. Or just go, just go to YouTube and search Wee Hours Games and you'll, you'll find Dave's channel. It's very, very, very good. It is, it is wonderful stuff. And um, yes, we recorded some stuff yesterday. I don't know if we're making it public what we record or not but um yeah so there is some sort of collaborative stuff coming from us as well we need to edit it we've played it we just need to sort of yeah, get it sorted and what have you but um but yeah so that is going to be coming up soon as well which is going to be a lot of fun uh, right hang on so how are things going here how are things going uh, to build ships you need to sing sea shanties <laughs> okay um something about the billy of tea da, 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 da. i don't know the words uh, the, the only but I know is the Billy of Tea. Uh, who'd have thought? Um, okay, hang on then. So now we've got that. So yeah, we need the treasure thing. So this requires us to now build some sort of castle because we're going to build all this around the treasure room. Because I imagine when we build that, that's going to be a target. If we get people coming to us going, oh, I'm going to come and chop your, you know, chop your head off with this big sword I've got, then they might go for the treasure room to nick all the money. So we might want to build our castle sort of, I don't know, here? That might be fun. Just, just I'm going to put the treasure room over there somewhere. Um, that's probably too far away, I imagine. But um, yeah, we'll build it there. We'll build it there. Um, Dave, Dave is a class act of a channel. I completely 100% agree, Jess slash Yoda Bauer. Um, yeah, I completely agree. Uh, this is your stream, not mine. I'm happy to be here. Well, uh, okay, so he's not going to post a link. Go After this stream is done, go and find Wee Hours Games. Go go forth, folks, and find it. Um, the, Ven the Venn diagram for viewers of Wee Hours and the Geeker would approximate, approximate it's a circle, probably. And that's a good thing. I like that. Um, okay, let's put this. Where's a load of room? Hang on. Hang on. I want to see... Oh, hang on. Let's wait for winter. Oh, hang on. I'm pausing the game. A dragon has been sighted. <laughs> And I don't know what to do about this. Um, okay, hang on. Let's go and have a look at the dragon. Hello, dragon. How are you? Um, right. What do we do about this, anybody? I've got no defence against a dragon. We've got nothing at all. We haven't even unlocked whatever this middle thing is here yet. <laughs> um, okay. Um, right. Okay, let's see what the dragon does. And... We might have to start again, possibly. Is it just going to burn everything and go away? I imagine it's just going to come in, go, oh, a bit dragony, and then it's going to scare people. And then is it going to go away? It's looking a bit. What's it doing? It's having a look around. It's going. My goodness me, this place is terribly underdeveloped for 26 years. <laughs> what have you lot been doing? Have you been just chatting away? Um, okay, it's going over there, right? And it's going to go away. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, dragon. <laughs> well, there we go. It's gone. Splendid. Right. Dragon has gone. Dragon has gone. Good. Right. Okay, everybody. <laughs> as you were. As you were. Right. Hang on. Pause time. I can see the... I can see the floor. Right. We might want that for... We might want that for sort of farm stuff when the city grows. Because that looks like good fertile land. This bit here doesn't look quite as good. That's fertile. That's very fertile. Okay. The castle can go over in that direction then. So the treasure room can just sort of go, ah, there, that'll do. Yay for treasure room. Okay, ah, and now we've unlocked advanced town. Okay, Vassaraz. Hello, Vassaraz. A pen stream, but I'm out of sacred cake. Old crumbs. Your presence alone is uh, is is more than enough, Voss. You've done, you have done much for the channel. So, uh, so yes, just turning up. You don't need to bring sacred cake. Uh, well, that would be interesting. Uh, you need to put castle blocks and place an archer tower on top to defend your town. Um, yeah. Okay, right. We might need to put some sort of defense in. How does one go about that? What was it? Hang on. Hang on. 
Um, oh, now it's gone off. Oh, there you go. Castle blocks and place an archer tower on top. Castle blocks. There's a castle block. Okay, right. So I think what we'll do is we'll build that. Can we build that like that? And then... Oh, hang on. <gasps> you can make it higher. Oh, that's very exciting. Okay, okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, right. And then some sort of archer tower. Uh, we need... Oh, we need money for that. Okay, right. Hang on. The next dragon attack is in 13 years. Yeah, we might need some sort of defense with that. Is it worth as well building some sort of block in the middle here? Just so if the dragon comes into the middle, we've got some defense as well. Right, hang on. So we've got 13 years to sort out our dragon issues. And if we don't, everything is going to be on fire. Because, you know, dragons and such. Okay. Can we build any bigger stores? Because our stores are filling up quite a lot. Um, hang on. Where would that be? In there. A stockpile. A proper stockpile requires the monies. Can we can we build this? How long does it take to build this? Come on. Come on. Chop, chop. We've been waiting a long while. Ooh. Plague. Oh, dear. Oh, that's not good. A little bit of plague happened. Our peasants want a tavern. Where is a tavern? There is a tavern. Yes, absolutely. A tavern sounds like a wonderful thing. Um, let's put the tavern... Let's put the tavern near the... Near the town square thing. And then everyone can have a bit of a party at the town square. And then they can go to the tavern and carry on the party. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Um, right, that's done. That is done. Now, what do we do with that? Do we tax peasants now? Are we doing the taxing? I don't know. Are we taxing people? I really have not got the faintest idea. I don't know. <laughs> How do we know if we are? I assume money will come in if we are. Um, can we click on that? We've got five... Ah, oh no, we've got five people doing the taxing. So hopefully we should pick up a bit of money at some point soon. Do you want my help? It might help if there was some sort of road going up there. That might be useful. And then we'll build the castle. Hang on, there was a gate. There was a stone gate. Can we build that over the road? Oh, yes, it's going to be glorious. Todd Howard just works. <laughs> the tavern is not called the Mulligan. I think I think this is the uh, the tankard and teapot. I think that's the tankard and teapot there. It just says tavern. Hang on. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Tankard and teapot. Oh, yes, it now is the tankard and teapot. Officially so. Um, we do have... Oh, right. We do have a little bit of... A little bit of badness going on. Um, is there some sort of cemetery or graveyard or some such thing? Ah, cemeteries. Uh, requires a cemetery caretaker, and that needs five money. And we haven't got any money yet. Uh, the dragon's coming in 11 years. I'm a little bit concerned. I don't know how we tax people. We've got five workers in the treasure room, but I don't know how they're getting the money in. Um... Okay. How do, oh no, hang on. There's a tax rate button. Somebody said that in the thing. Right, hang on. Tax rate, 5% for now. There's quite a few people. There's quite a few people. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Red Fusion. <laughs> Thank you to everybody that said, just up your tax rate, you silly man. For goodness sake. Um, uh, Lee Davis says, how long is the stream? Um, I mean, it's only really been going an hour. We've had, obviously, there was a bit of wiffly waffly at the start. I would think at least, at least another one hour. If not more, probably probably an hour and a bit, maybe. Um, I think, yeah, that, that maybe another hour and a half, possibly. I don't know. If the dragon comes and kills everything, then um, then it will be significantly shorter than that, I imagine. Ah, anyway, a bit of tea. 5%, what are you, a libertarian? I don't really know what a libertarian is. I just thought that was quite nice, because otherwise they're going to be sad. They're not very happy as it is. A burgeoning town. 100 souls look to you for leadership <laughs> and then they look away for somebody else vikings invading okay right are you gonna do what the dragons did or are you gonna oh goodness me right hang on hang on <laughs> uh right can we build a place where fighty people go where's where's anything fighty have we got anything fighty is there a barracks oh there's a barracks over there Ah, bother. That needs... Oh, that needs a chamber of war, which we don't have. Oh. Right, hang on. Hang on. Right, what's going to happen here? <laughs> okay, we'll put the tax up to 10, everybody. Ah, hang on. Hang on. I've got an idea. If we can do this before the Vikings get here, that would be amazing. Archer Tower. We need 20 money. Right, everyone just chip in. 
Chip, give us two gold or you're going to get your heads chopped off by an angry Viking with an amazing beard. 19. Come on. Yes. Right. Okay. Pause time. Pop that onto... Oh, hang on. That's going a bit weird. There we go. Pop that onto there. It's likely the Vikings are going to come to the middle of the town. I would have thought. Right. Where are they? Where are the Vikings? Right. They're just... Oh, they're quick. Oh, they're very fast, are the Vikings. Oh, there's many of them. There's a huge Viking at the front. Um, yeah. Have we got that finished? Is it done? Okay, it's finished. And we have two people in it, I think. I think that's what that means. We have two archers. Okay. <laughs> right. Better than nothing. Better than no defense. We can't build the other archer tower. Okay, right. So, we're, we're down to two people to save the entire settlement. I suspect that might not be enough, but... Arrows are going in. The Vikings are fortunately staying around here. There's lots of fire. And have we scared the Vikings away? <gasps> Take that, Vikings. Away with you. Oh, look at that. And I think... I think everything's back. Yeah, nothing seems to be on fire. I think everything is sort of more or less intact. That's good. Hooray! Uh, we, we just fought off some Vikings. <laughs> I thought that would... Uh, I did not think that would work, but there we go. Your peasants are about to get crucified. Well, Hulk Hogan. Is that the real Hulk Hogan? It's amazing. Um, but no, no. The peasants survived. That is amazing. Um, wonderful. That That is that is good stuff. Um, okay, yes. Uh, hang on. Let's just read through the comments. What have I missed? Um, Crunchy Frog. Sorry, I have to go. Crunchy Frog. Uh, absolutely. Thank you for popping by. If you're still here, you might have gone by now. But thank you for even just poking your nose in and saying hi. It is much appreciated. Um, okay, do you know what? Let's just, let's put it back onto normal speed for now. It's been, everything's been going very quick. So let's have a little look at what we can do now. I think maybe, now we're seeing Vikings and Dragons, I think maybe we're going to have to save up for the Chamber of War and then a barracks. I think they might be quite good things to have. Um, and a moat slows down. Slows down invading ogres. No, hang on, what? Nobody told me they were ogres. There's ogres and dragons in this game. Nobody informed me of this. I was blissfully unaware. Ah, hang on, hang on. Let's get an archer tower. Pop an archer tower onto the top of there. And I think, for defensive purposes, let's build a castle block over there as well. Let's defend... Do you know what? Next to the tavern. That would make sense. Um... Okay. Uh, important lesson for all Vikings. Order of command is important. First pillage, then burn. Yeah, they did do it a little bit the wrong way around, didn't they? They did They did sort of let us off a bit there. Um, nobody visited this year. Tales of our unsuccessful defence of recent Viking rampages have frightened any visitors away. What do you mean, unsuccessful defence? The Vikings ran away. They, We fired arrows at their heads, and they got in a boat, and they ran away. I rather think we did quite well with that. That's outrageous. Um, okay. Uh, finally put together my peach and green tea. Ooh. I have never... I have never had peach in tea. I like green tea. I do like a green tea. We've only got basic green tea at the minute in the house. We've got... Um, I think it might even just be Tesco green tea. It's nothing exciting. But it's okay. It, you know, it's all right as green tea goes. I think Twining's green tea is nice. I think I've had that before. That's quite nice. Um, but yeah, I've never put peach. I've never put peach in, in tea before. That's quite exciting. Um, okay, right. What do we need to do? Um, okay, we've got an iron mine. But iron is over there. So we're going to need to somehow expand over in that direction. That's going to take a long while for them to bring anything over. So that might not be as useful. Ah! A regular stockpile. This could be quite good because we are filling up our stockpiles by the look of it. So if we just pop that down in the middle. Let's put that. Do you know what we could do? Let's put that. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, let's put that there. Pop that in like that. And um, there we go. RJ. Oh, RJ. <laughs> RJ, you were, you were much too kind. You're back. Hello. Lego Cube is done. Picks on Discord. Uh, Mug of Yorkshire God and Hobnobs for all. I named the first dragon Bob. Okay. Yeah. Bob the dragon. Bob the dragon popped by. Um, so for those who don't know, we do have shameless plug alert. We do have the Geek Cube Discord. 
and um, a, a Renosian, RJ, is on there. You will become aware of his presence if he's around, because he will say hello. Um, but he has been building the Lego... Is it just called the Lego Cube? It's like the Lego Mario 64 question mark block. And I think he's got little tiny bits that sort of pop out. There's three... He can tell you in the chat, but there's three different zones that pop out. I don't quite know what they are now, but there's little tiny tiny sort of mario figures and stuff it's 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 very good it looks amazing i am admittedly a bit jealous if i'm honest but um but yeah it does look very nice but yeah so he's um he's recently been building that it's finished he's finished building it which is very good but yes if you want to pop over to the discord hint hint subtle unsubtle plug then um then yes there are links in the description to this video the stream i think there should be and um and, yeah, you can find it. If you just go to the channel, there'll be a link and such like. Um, but, yeah, hang on. There's a gap there. What can we put in that gap? Can we fit a hovel into there? Is it all fire brigade? Hang on. How big are they? Ooh. Ooh, that could be a bit better, couldn't it? We could have a fire brigade. Uh, employs professional firefighters. Okay. Yeah, that's brilliant. Let's have one of those. Pop that into that convenient gap there. And now we have a professional firefighting service. Right, we might need to do something about food. Because we've got quite a lot of people. And food is... Food is coming down a tiny, tiny bit. Um, okay. I think maybe this area here could now be food town. And then we'll put some more houses along here. And sort of along here. We've got... No, we've not got much stone, actually. Hang on. What's happened to the stone? Does the stone dry up, or have we just been using it because we've been building, like, castle bits? Might possibly be castle bits. Yeah, our food is coming down quite quickly. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Let's, um, let's sort this out. Let's bring that around like that. That's nice. Pop that like uh, that. There we go. And then into here, we will put... Right, no houses now, because we don't need houses. There's only eight idle people, however. Um... Uh, yes, Renosian is also a Discord meter and greet. He's part of the welcome committee. So, um, yes, if you do, if you do go and join the Discord, um, unsubtle plug links are everywhere, then, um, then yes, hopefully RJ will say hello to you, if you do. Mrs. Betts, you're live. Oh, happy days. I know. I know. We're live. This is a rare, tis a rare thing. Um, right. Farm stuff. We're going to need considerably more food. Because it's coming down at a slightly alarming rate. Possibly should have noticed before. Um, okay. So let's build some roads up like this. Because as everyone knows, I love a road. And then that's a useless space. We can't grow anything on there. So how about we just put... Ooh. Improves productivity of farms adjacent. Does not affect orchards. <gasps> we can have a windmill. Yeah. Okay. Right. Sold. Windmill it is. Wonderful windmill. And then a farm is just three of these. So if it increases the effectiveness of adjacent farms... Then we just... Oh, right. Oh, okay. I see. I thought maybe that it took up all that space. I think it's like that. There we go. So we'll have that as farms. And then we will have orchards. Have an orchard and an orchard and an orchard. And then we will have three more farms. That's all very nice. It's all gone a bit cold. Um, Tooth. Hello, Tooth. How are you? Um... Lee, Lee De we, yeah, Crusader Kings 3, we discussed this earlier. Crusader Kings 3 will be coming back at some point. It shall indeed be coming back. Um, okay, so, okay. Orchid Grinder. Oh, good night, Orchid Grinder. Yes, indeed. Um, yeah, with, with, with children, the, the hour is late. <laughs> this is this is the time of parent bedtime. You sort of go and collapse and go, oh, tired, been a long day. So, yes. Uh, good night. Good night, and um, I will see you probably tomorrow on the Discord or whatever. Um, yeah, my tea is getting a bit cold. I have got I have got water as well. But um, but yeah, there's a question that it says from uh, Mikhail ha Hallander. Again, pronunciation all over the place. Sorry. Um, do you plan to ever play Football Manager? There are plenty of questionable decisions to make in that game, especially in lower leagues. Now I did many years ago a long long time ago i did used to play football manager but it was called championship manager back then and that was my friday night thing i mean this was this was a long while ago um but i used to um go to my friend's house every friday night after i'd had food i'd go over at about half seven eight o'clock 
And I kid you not, I mean, you know, I was, this was probably the age when people should be going out to pubs and whatever. Um, I would, I would go over there and we'd have tea. I, and I, I this is a, a hand on my heart, the truth, I promise. We'd have tea and cake and we'd play football manager until about one o'clock in the morning. And that's what we would do. That would be our thing. And it was it was wonderful. It was very good. But uh, but yeah, that's what we did. So I used to play it, but it was yeah, it was championship manager back then. It's been a long, long time since I played anything sort of football-y. Although I do like the uh, the kicky ball. I am a fan of the kicky ball. I um yeah, just just haven't played any games of it recently as such. Uh, right, hang on. We might need another cottage going because we might need some more people to come and work on those fields. I think or to do some other jobs. Um. Okay. Oh, Anna Sharma. Yep. Yeah, Two a.m. Dropouts in. I. You're perfectly entitled to drop out now. You could have literally put your head in and gone. Hello. It's a stream. It's brilliant. Bye bye. It's two in the morning. I would have completely understood. <laughs> two in the morning. Crikey's. Um. Yeah. That's that's very very dedicated. Um. And yeah, RJ saying Penge build a windmill near the fields. Yeah, we've got one. We've got one. The windmill is there. They're just sort of they're very slowly but very surely working on it. Um. But yeah, we can't do anything with that what can we put there hang on there's a little granary type thing we'll just pop that okay it's not that little um a well we could put a well there in case there's a fire that's what we could do oh and there's a cemetery manager as well oh we need some stuff to defend ourselves oh there's too much to do uh, right hang on hang on well 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 there we go right well goes in um what kicky ball team is your chosen favorite um i grew up uh, I was born in Leicestershire, and I grew up in Leicestershire, and I went to school and university. In, well, I went to school in Leicestershire, and went to university in Leicester, and I support Leicester City because it was the team that I grew up watching because they were there, and I could go and see them with my face eyes. So, um, so yeah, Leicester City. That's where I was last weekend. Uh, we certainly picked the right day for it to go. If it had been today, although I didn't play today, but you know, it, last weekend was all right watching football. It was it was sunny. It was all right, whereas today was rainy and cold and terrible. So we did pick the, uh, we did pick a good weekend for going to the kicky balls. Ah, oh. um, there we go. Right, my tea is gone. My tea is gone, out of the official geek cupboard mug, and I am now back on the back on the water. But that's fine. That's okay. The water is good. Uh, okay, so look, there you go. There's a windmill. There is a windmill that will maximise the farm output. And make things better. So food should now be sorted. So I think we need to turn our attention back to defence. Right, we need a bit more money. We need some more money from people. Um, okay, hang on. What's their happiness like? 63. To, uh, our peasants want a church or a library? Hang on, what? Where are they? Where are those things? A church and a library. Oh, there's a clinic? That could be quite good. Plague doctors run out to treat afflicted peasants. That might be quite a worthwhile investment. I think maybe getting a clinic in could be quite useful to stop people from, you know, dying of plague. Uh, where's the where's the front of this building? Is that the front? No, that's not the front. That sort of looks maybe like the front, possibly. There we go. So we'll have a clinic. Um, Nina Max says, how's the merch doing? Again, it's another thing where I'm just a, a huge disorganised mess. <laughs> and I know I did put a thing out on the community tab what's it saying is anybody interested in merch and a few people said yes i would love a mug or whatever and i just i just never got around to it <laughs> it's just i just uh, i'm i'm just a disorganized rabble if i if i was able to get things sorted i'd have like game schedule for weeks i'd know what i was doing i'd have a plan but i i don't have any of those things <laughs> i just sort of i just wing it and see what happens i'm sure that's all fine um so yes there is there is no merch right now, although I possibly should get that sorted. Um, Ninja Dreamer said, did you have a bet on Leicester winning the Premiership? Unfortunately not. No, I did not. And yes, I am on a live stream. Indeed, it's a rare thing. It's been two years since this last happened. My goodness. Um, Spudgun. Hello, Spudgun. Not my sort of game, but I'm giving it a like for the engagement. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, obviously you can't. No, no one game is going to satisfy everybody, but uh, but yeah, I did this. This won uh, the vote. This won the vote. Although um, the other two options that were in the vote for the game we played now, which were Shelter Manager and uh, Hotel Magnate, they will be appearing on the channel 
probably in the next week, I would have thought. There's there's so much stuff. There's so much stuff to play. I've got so many things. But they will be appearing on the channel. So, um, yes. A Hotel Magnate will be at some point. What's going on there? Hang on. Hang on. Loads of people running around. Hang on. Is that getting better? Are they adding to this? That didn't used to look like that, did it? Are they making this thing a bit better? Maybe it gets better when we level up. When the town levels up. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, I didn't notice that. Um, anyway, what was on about? Oh, the thing. Yes, the um, the game. So yeah, Shelter Manager is kind of like a... I suppose it's a bit like Shelter, maybe. But I don't think you necessarily send people out into the waste. It's more about putting the right rooms in to make sure you're sort of dealing with the right you know, resource management stuff in a sort of post-apocalyptic shelter type game. Uh, whereas uh, Hotel Magnate is obviously a hotel builder. We have played it a little bit before. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's gone into early access, I believe. So we will play both of those at some point in the coming week-ish, maybe. But of course, we have got the other series going on as well. We've um, we've got the the wonderful, the wonderful Honey, I Joined a Cult with, with yeah, the proper, the proper way to, to worship, with cake, with the covenant of the cake. Ignore... Spicy Todd, what's his name down the road? No, I don't know what's going on there. Revelations abound in the in the next instalment uh, in the Covenant of the Cake. Oh my goodness me! We picked at those documents, and it is a revelation. Somebody's just put the dragon draws near it. Yep, yeah, I know. Indeed, yeah. I'll um, I'll sort that out. Hang on. <laughs> uh, what was I doing? We've got no idle people. Right, hang on. What we need to do is we need to get some. Ah, hang on. Right, that, that's what I was going to do. Where is it? There. Archer Tower, pop onto there, because then, hang on a minute, go on there, there we go, get that done, that means that we can fire arrows at the dragon if it goes over there, or here, or here, and if it flies around in the middle, that's even better, because then we can, you know, fire arrows at it from here, and here, double arrows, so that'll be quite good, um, but yeah, our people's happiness is not great, and we're going to get attacked by Vikings in six years. Um, Sai, one of our peasants, unfortunately, has drowned. Really? I mean, there's there's barriers to stop them falling into the sea. Joe, you know what I have done? I've built the tavern a little bit near the sea, haven't I? And a well. I wonder if that's what's happened. Have they gone in and had a little bit too much to drink in the tavern and then gone... Do -do -do <laughs> Fallen in? Oh, dear. Oh, dear me. Okay, never mind. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Todd still loves you, Penge. He believes in you, even if you don't believe in him. I don't, I don't know if I want Todd to believe in me. I'm I'm not sure Todd's Todd's my kind of guy. Not after what we found out. My goodness me, we we've discovered many things about Todd. Shocking stuff. We have to uh, watch the next part to figure out what's going on with Todd. But poor oh, crikey's. Um, uh, Mr. Mistoffelee says there's a sheltered two out now. Indeed, indeed. That was going to go onto the channel until a gazillion other things went on the channel instead. But if you do want to see some shelter stuff, uh, Dave over at Wee Hours is playing Shelter 2. Um, I know there's definitely one part out. I don't know if the second part has gone out yet. But, you know, it's uh, uh, certainly there's more than one episode on the way, I think. I don't know if there's a series or what. But, yes, there is um, there is stuff for Shelter 2 over at the uh, Wee Hours if you are interested in that sort of thing. Um, right, hang on. I keep getting distracted by looking at the chat. What are we supposed to be doing? We've got all of those things in. We've got spare people. Oh, yeah, defending. That was it. That we were doing some defence. Right, we need the Chamber of War. However, the Chamber of War is very expensive. We need some money for the Chamber of War. Right, sorry, everybody. The tax rate's gone up a tiny bit. Just temporarily until we can get some, like, you know, barracks and fighty people in to keep you all alive, okay? This is to keep you all alive. So you can either pay some gold or be burnt to death by a dragon or get stabbed by a Viking or chopped. Do Vikings have swords? I kind of picture Vikings with axes. So, you know, choppy choppy with axes. So, um, so yes. Uh, yeah, pay up a little bit, please. Let's just get some money in. And then we're going to put the tax back down because people are a bit grumpy. Where's the library? That must be an advanced town. What do you have for that? 75 monies? Goodness me. Crikers. Yeah, we need a cemetery caretaker as well. And a cemetery. We need one of those. A cemetery could go down here. It's a bit of sort of dead ground. <laughs> that was not supposed to be a terrible pun. There's a bit of useless ground over here, I should say, that um, that would be quite good for a cemetery. 
because we can't plant anything on it, so we might as well might as well you know have it as a lovely place of worship type thing. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see what's going on. Have we got enough money? We've got 79. We need to go to the right button. Hang on a second. Um, right, we need 65. Oh, we need some more stone. Oh, botherations. Okay. Uh, we shall wait for stone to come in. Do you know what? Actually, let's put time on nice and quick. The Vikings have guns. What? The Vikings can't have guns. That's not permitted. They can't have guns. What Vikings have got guns? That's not right at all. Um, we might need... We might need another quarry, you know. I think our quarry is uh, struggling. Can we make it... Can we have more people here? Can we have more people working here? Four out of four. Yeah, we need more stone. We, we need more of this. May New Zealand prosper, indeed. Oh, hang on. Ju oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Back, back down to normal speed where I can cope. Um, Jumi of Ruby says it's 3.30am where I am, so I'm going to have to call it a night. Thanks for a lovely time, Penge, and have fun, everyone. Oh, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. It was a, it was a pleasure to uh, to have you here in the chat. Um, but yeah, 3.30am <laughs> is fine. Um, Paul Devlin. Yeah, we, we, I'll build walls, but I kind of think we need some people to fight the Vikings because... No matter how many wars we put in, I don't think we can get all the wars sorted in the next five years. Because, you know, the walls are costing stone. We haven't got a lot of stone. So I think our best course of action is to have some sort of defence against them, against the Vikings. And then, then, when we've got defence, we can start building walls. Um, Spudgun says, I'm staying now. The commentary makes it worth it. Okay, <laughs> good. Well, you are most welcome. You are welcome to stick around. Uh, right, let's pop that there, and let's get that in. And now, to build a barracks, we're going to need another 75 stone. Are we going to have 75 stone gathered in four years? I would say probably not. We might need to start getting over here. Get over there, chop those trees down, build another stone mine over there. I think that's the nearest one we've got. Oh, yeah, the stone mines are far, far away. What's that? Hang on, what's that? What is this? A witch? What? As you approach the door, the witch seems to be sleeping. Um, okay. I'm going to say... <laughs> I'm going to say hi to the witch. Uh, okay, knock, knock. Hello. Ooh, right. You've got a skull. Okay, that's a little bit worrying. Uh, you've awakened me. How long was I asleep? I've no idea. Didn't even notice you were there. Um, years, perhaps. Uh, probably about 37 of them, if you went to sleep when we arrived. Uh, I'm starved. Fetch me some food, will you? Um, can you send 20... Yes, we've got loads of food. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks very much. Let's chat again in, <laughs> in seven years. And they apparently like us. I think if you liked us, you would probably want to talk to us <laughs> in a slightly more timely way than in seven years. At least send me a card. Crikey's. Um... Okay, there's a witch. Oh, and there's things. There's... Ah, right, they're wolves. Yeah, okay. We don't want to go and mess with those right now. Right, that's clear. So I think... Uh, hang on, it's that one. Let's get another quarry. Uh, too far away from the roads. Forgot about the roads. Right, roadity road. Up there. And kind of... Uh, well, let's have a go like that. And then we can just put the quarry there. And it just fits nicely next to it. And there we go. Perfect. Okay, and then we might need some sort of storage thing up there to stop them walking a gajillion miles as well. So a small stockpile just there will do the job very nicely indeed. Okay, and you know what? If nobody's doing much else, chop down those trees as well. And chop down those trees. Wonderful stuff. Right, choppy chop. Right, dragon, hopefully we're okay. Unless we want to get another Ballista Tower in, but we're saving our stone, aren't we? Um... Okay, Lee Davis, plan out loud. Yeah, we, we will do another Crusader Kings 3. Lee Davis, we, Crusader Kings 3 will be on the way, as explained, when there is new content. Um, But a Chamber of War, then a barracks, and get some warrior squads. Well, the Chamber of War is in, I believe. Well, it's going in. It's taking a little while to get sorted, but, you know, they're getting on with it, thankfully. The only thing is, we have no idle people, which would imply... Oh, hang on, hang on, let's put the tax rate down. Our people are furious. <laughs> Tax rates down. Hey, everybody, you can keep some money to spend in the tavern. Um, yeah, we might need some more people. Might need to possibly build another cottage. Might need a cottage just for some more people. Because, yeah, we've only got a few people. We've got nobody that's spare right now. 
which might be why this is taking so long to get put together. Yeah, that's taking a that's taking a long time. That is taking a very long time. Um, Bettina Priya says, I still think the best series by far was Rimworld, which I'd love to have another CK one as well. Rimworld was was wonderful. It was one of the favourite things I played. And I have I spoke about this with uh, with Dave and also on the Inside the Geek Cupboard videos, the sort of the member things. But um, the Rimworld was, it was one of my favourite things to play. It was brilliant. It was absolutely amazing. And yeah, Rimworld Friday. I loved Rimworld Friday. It was amazing. I was like, you're right, it's Rimworld. And normally with Rimworld Friday, I would record it. I would record it on the Friday morning. I'd get it done on the Friday and then edit it all and get it ready for Friday night. So it really was a Rimworld Friday. I'd record it, play it, edit it, do all the stuff, and then it would go out on Friday night. And it was a fun thing. It was wonderful. But in terms of, you know, the, how it worked on the channel, it kind of started off as things do very popular, but because it did go on quite a long time, because Rimworld does, the popularity was was relatively low, but the people that were invested in it were properly invested in it. You know, people really, really wanted to see what was happening in Rimworld. And it was wonderful to play. It was wonderful. I would not... Uh, I would not uh, have changed it for anything. It was it was a splendid game. It was a, it was a really good series as well. Somebody says Rimworld is rubbish. Vips UK Rimworld wasn't rubbish. It was brilliant. It was a tale of at the start it was a sort of fumbling around and not really understanding what was happening and then it turned into a tale of vaguely sort of getting a base sorted and then things would go wrong and then we lost somebody and then we kind of had to fight against things and there were robots massive big worm robot things and it was it was wonderful it was one of the best things i've played um but yeah it sort of did struggle in terms of huge popularity but the people that did watch it were really like properly into it which was excellent um x joy says ah hi penge i'm actually awake for this hello of course yeah nina mac reminded me michael the dog i forgot about michael the dog michael the dog was a thing yeah he was in it from the very start and he <laughs> oh hang on <clears throat> spoilers anyway i'm not going to say anything about michael the dog michael the dog was lovely and woofy um Okay, but hang on, hang on. Can we build a barracks now? Um, we need... Oh, we need more stone. <laughs> Boo, we need more stone. Yeah, we haven't got enough stone. We just need to save up the stone, I think. This is a bit of a problem, isn't it? Is there any other stone anywhere? I don't think there is. I don't think there is. There's wolves over there. There's... What's that? Is that a wolf cave? Yeah, that's wolves. There's... Doo -doo -doo, and that's iron up there, isn't it? Yeah, we've got no um we've got no stone, really, other than the stone we're harvesting, which is good, but we've not really got anything else going on. Right, what does this do? Ooh. What's that? Hazard pay. Cost fifty startup. All military forces inflict double damage for four times the upkeep cost. Ooh. That's expensive. That's quite the cost. Um Okay, Rimworld, yes, yeah, so Ninja Dreamer says, I agree that Rimworld was classic, but really enjoyed the almost exact copy of it transferred to the medieval world. By the way, Pendulum had all the broken waves and strays to join his cast. Oh, yeah, going medieval. Yeah, that was very good as well. I mean, yeah, it's like 3D Rimworld-ish, isn't it? But it did need more people interaction, didn't it, going medieval? It did lack that sort of... The people were there, and they're all doing their jobs, but I didn't get the feel that... You know, Gerard hated whoever else it was. Gerard hated Cooper and thing. It kind of it needed that sort of person sort of side of things, which um yeah it sadly didn't have at the time we played it. But I'm sure it was only in early access, wasn't it? So at the time yeah they'll develop that. They'll develop that in, and it should be wonderful. Uh, right, hang on. There we go. A lovely bit of lovely bit of water. Um. Uh, uh, yeah, Nina Max says, will the Guild 3 be making a comeback? Now, this, this this is a tricky one. I've had that on the list of things to do for quite a long time. There is a dragon going to come and attack us in a year. Um, that's been on the list for ages. And I keep thinking, right, I'll do the Guild 3. And um, it's getting to the point with the Guild 3 where they're going to go out, I think, of early access. I think I read somewhere. In the relatively near future. So what I don't want to do is, I don't want to go... Okay, right, we'll start a new series of Guild 3, get 10 episodes in, and then they update the game to the full, sort of, you know, launch, release version, and then our game is annihilated and we have to start again. I don't want that to happen, so I need to see... I can't... Maybe I'll email them and say, any plans? If it's going to be 
in six months when you go live with it. Cracking. I'll, I'll do a series. If it's going to be next week, then I will hold off kind of thing. So yes, I would love the Guild 3 to come back because there's, there's all all sorts of exciting new things in it now. It's very good. But um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Water. That sounded a bit forced. Hang on. Mmm. Mmm, water. It's like tea, but without the goodness in it. It's just tea without the fun. Uh, or beer without the fun, I suppose. Uh, right, okay, hang on. Let's... We can't build the barracks quite yet. But we're going to keep all of our stone. We kind of need some people. We've got 119 people. I imagine they're all quite gainfully employed. Food is fine. Money, we've actually got some. Um, Where's the... Are we making charcoal? I thought we were doing that. Um, oh, hang on. Why have we not got a thing? Oh, hang on a minute. Chop down the tree. Yeah, we need to link that up. That's just all untied, isn't it? Um, yes, we need to get some defence in for the Vikings. The dragon, I am confident that three archer towers will be enough to defend against the dragon. Hopefully, maybe, possibly. Um... I'm starting a... Creamy Goodness says, I'm starting a new Rimworld with Stone Penge and Todd the Spicy fighting over the spiritual well-being of the rest of the super uh, survivors. Ideology makes it Honey Eye Gender Cult in space! Um, yeah, so I've not played Rimworld with the ideology stuff. I don't know what that sort of um, entails. I'm not entirely sure, but... Um, yeah, Brutalist... Brutalist Toast. That's a good name. Um, at some point, at some point, I expect... Rimworld will reappear with some of the DLCs. I don't know when. I'm not saying it's certain. I've not planned it or anything like that. But I imagine there'll come a point where I'll think, do you know what? I want to play Rimworld again. And we'll go and do some more Rimworld. Because it is it is brilliant. So, um, yeah, at some point, I think it will reappear. Right, what have we got? Hang on. We might have enough. Hang on, Cassidy bit. We've got enough for a barracks. Okay, there is a dragon coming in. Oh, the barracks is big. Hang on a second. Hang on. Wait there, dragon. I'm doing defense stuff. Um, right. The barracks is, is massive. I don't think the barracks needs to go into the castle, necessarily. So could we put the barracks, say, there? And then we can build a little road around the edge. That seems like a good place for it to go. I mean, there is a gap going through there. Could we, are we allowed to put a road in that gap? That would be fun. No, we can't. Boo. Boo game. Okay, never mind. Um, we'll bring a road. We'll put something there. Uh, well, actually, no, it makes sense for that to come through, wouldn't it? There we go. Lovely. And then we'll put some stuff behind it. I don't know what wells or something. In fact, yeah, we need a well over here, don't we? Hang on a second. Uh, oh, we have no stone. <laughs> of course we don't. Right. Dragon sighted. Okay. Hello. Bob is back. Bob the dragon. Um, here we go. Why no tea, the geek cupboard? Isn't that against Channel Rules? I've drank my tea. I've drank my tea and there's nobody in the house to make me another cup of tea, I'm afraid. <laughs> I guess if I was, again, not very good at planning. If I had planned, I could have, um, I could have, like, made a, like, a flask of tea and had that, but I didn't. Okay, archers, fire upon the... Right, the dragon's quite tough, funnily enough. The dragon is, yeah... The dragon's taking quite a bit of damage there. Don't set fire. This house is a lovely house. Don't you dare set fire to this house. You pesky thing. Hang on a minute. We've <laughs> Fire brigade to the rescue. In your own time. Whatever you like. Anything? Yeah, th that's a little bit on fire. But look, that tower's going in. That tower's going in. Yeah, we're going to struggle over here, aren't we? If they set fire to something over here. Is that it? Has the dragon cleared off? Yeah, there you go. Bye, Bob. Fire has claimed a cottage. I've got, I've got a team of firefighters who I pay money to. And they have one job. <laughs> what? Oh, dearie me. Right, rebuild. Rebuild that, please. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, dear. Could we make life more pleasant for the peasants? Um, uh, yeah, hang on a minute. Hang on. Um, uh, Shell Wilson. Hello. Hi, everyone. Glad I made the live stream. Um, going Medieval is how I found the channel originally. Yeah, it, it Going Medieval was really good. It's a very fun game. I'm looking forward to see what they do with this. Ah, we have no staff to train new soldiers. <laughs> okay, we've got <laughs> we've got no people. Um, and we have no stone to build anything. Do you know what? We're just going to have to hurry through. We're going to have to put time on super quick. Because, yeah, we've had time on slow, haven't we? 
let's have time on quick for a while. Uh, you need a ballista to kill the dragons. That, yeah, that would prop, that would make sense. Yeah, okay, hang on. We'll get one of those as well. In fact, there's room there. We could build just here, couldn't we? There could be a little tower there. Because the dragon generally comes to the middle. So maybe we could build a ballista thing just there. Right, Vikings are invading from over here. Okay, on their little boat. We let Joe, let's watch them. Don't nick the fish. I don't want to do anything with the fish. Um, okay, let's see what's going on there. Right, so here we go. Vikings have appeared. Can we just can we go and stealth nick their boat? That'd be quite funny. Uh, and then yeah, there's quite a few of them. There's a big there's a big chunky boy at the front. Look at that. He's proper chunks. Right. Okay. So where are they go? Right. This is firing at them. This is good. This is good. So that shot at them a bit. Uh, that house is on fire. <laughs> but now they're going into this area where they might well get shot a bit more. Oh, hang on. They've gone around that tower. That tower. Come on, tower. Get a few shots in. And we've killed. Yes. Take that, Vikings. And their boat is... Okay. Oh, no, hang on. Is there one little chap at the back? <laughs> this was sad. <laughs> sad Viking. Oh, he's going home on his own. I do apologise. Sad, lonely Viking. But they were trying to kill us in the face. So, you know, we had to kind of stop them a bit. Right. That worked slightly more effectively. We've killed the Vikings. Um, tales about unsuccessful defence of recent Viking rampages have frightened visitors away. I... Somebody's spreading rumours about us that aren't strictly true. This is terrible. Um, yeah. I mean, they didn't do much there, did they? They didn't do much. The Vikings didn't trouble us that much. Right, we need some people. So we need some more houses. Can we get a manor house? Yes, we can now. Beds for 25 peasants. Demands charcoal. Yields more tax revenue. Has four heads of household. I don't know what that means, but it sounds very exciting. Um, can we get a manor house? Insufficient resources. Oh, right. Hang on a second. Right. Tax rate's got to go up a little bit. Sorry, everybody. Don't kill me. Right, the manor house, <laughs> we haven't got enough money again. Um, right, hang on. Let's, let's get some money for a manor house. Get some money for a manor house. Um, Paul Devlin says, Penge, I have to leave to fix my Wi-Fi. It's fine. If You go and do what you need to do. Absolutely. You go and sort out Wi-Fi and all that kind of stuff. Almost midnight in Sweden. Um, Hearty Boy says, Hi, Penge, and chat. Didn't know you did live streams. Hearty Boy, this is a rare rare occurrence the stars are in alignment and magic is happening elsewhere in the world to make a live stream in the geek cupboard happen because yes it is a very sort of a very rare unusual thing uh, how about then let's build this house here a waterfront property come on come on your property price is going to be amazing with that and if we put like a little park or something over there there are gardens aren't there i see a garden yeah it needs a massive pile of money um how about, how about we get you down? Let's get you just there. So pop you. Uh, okay, that's a slightly weird lab, but we'll put you on that corner there because we need. Ah, oh, there you go. Look, just I put that down. A terrible plague has swept the land. We could do with the graveyard to put the plague people in. Um, <laughs> imagine if Penny drank coffee instead of tea. <laughs> what world would that be? My goodness me. Um. Uh, once again, Viking TripAdvisor strikes. Damn Viking TripAdvisor. Um, okay, right. Let's see what they're doing with this then. So now we've got we've got that in. Oh, the people are most unhappy. They want a church or a library. Okay, we've got a little bit of time now before before we get attacked again. So the church is quite a bit of stone and money, but we've, we're nearly there. And the library is less stone, but... A, a lot more money. Okay, okay. Whichever one comes first. But cemeteries. Tombstones eventually disappear so they can be reused. Okay, so what do we do? Just zone out like a little space like that? Do we do that? Oh no, hang on. There's a thing here. Cemetery. So 10 stone. Oh, it requires a load of stone and money. Cemetery. Hang on, what was the difference? Cemetery, cemetery, circle, cemetery, cemetery diamond or that? Okay, let's just have one of those for now. Let's just pop that there. There we go. Right, so that extends that. Ah, that's one plot of cemetery just there as it is. Oh, wonderful. Right, okay. 
So we've expanded the cemetery a little tiny bit. Okay, that is good. That is good. Uh, Sal, Elizabeth, same old page, ten times faster. <laughs> Sorry, I'll, I'll switch it down. Um, uh, right, that house there. That house there has got lots of people in. Nobody out of 25. It does need charcoal, however. Are we producing enough charcoal? 16 is used by homes to keep everything warm, I would imagine. Okay, do you know what? We might need another charcoal burner. Uh, where are you? Charcoal maker, whatever. Uh, we'll pop you... Uh, I don't know. There. That'll do. In industry land. Get that in. Although we still have no people. We need some more people to move in. Levi has died of old age. <gasps> Levi was at the start. Levi was at the start, I believe. Oh, Levi... Oh, it's all very sad. Do you know what? At least you died of old age and not the plague, though. You know, that's a bit better, isn't it? Oh, that's all very sad. One of our original... I'm assuming it's one of our original people. Oh, the witch sends word that she would like to speak with us. Oh, witch, give us loads of resources. Hello. Don't turn us into a frog. Um, It's been difficult to keep my fire going. The magic flames consume a lot of charcoal. Could we send 21 charcoal? We, no, we actually can't. Can we can we quit out of that and come back when we've got that to send her? Because I don't want to annoy her. Because that would be sad, wouldn't it? Okay, never mind. Right, so what have we got going on? Nine years for dragons. Seven years for Vikings. We just need people. We need people and we need everyone to be a little tiny bit happier. So what we can do is, hang on, get a cottage. I'm going to fill this up with cottages. So a cottage there and a cottage there. And one there, and one there. So a great big kind of residential area over here. So that's good. So that should mean there's loads and loads of space for people to move in. And then let's get us one of these. So we can't afford... Oh no, we're going to have to put the tax rate up a bit. Sorry, everybody. Um, Sal Elizabeth, no, I meant 10 times faster if you drank coffee. Oh, instead of tea, I see what you mean, Sal Elizabeth. Yes, indeed. Um, yeah, I don't... I, oh, me ten times faster. But I hear anything. Good grief. Um, and Caitlin O'Donnell. Hello. Um, I haven't seen you in the Discord in a little while. Um, if, uh, long time watcher, first time catching a stream. Yeah, the streams are rare. So, uh, yes, welcome, welcome. Um, you're two hours behind me, William Kirkham. William Kirkham. Ah, it's 9pm. Ah, okay, yeah. Um, Bad Ratchet says, watch your random vids. Love Penja style. Caught up a few series. Hooked. I'm intrigued. What video... Like, what did people join with? What were people's first geek cupboard videos? Because a lot would be, I would guess, Academia. And Matt Rimworld, possibly. Crusader Kings. And... I don't know, MMORPG Tycoon 2? Possibly. I don't know. Possibly those those ones, or maybe some others. I do not know. I mean, other people could have come in on anything, really. Uh, sheltered, possibly. That was quite that was quite popular. Uh, Nina Max says, "Can we expect more live streaming?" I would I would really love to do it, and it depends. I mean, the only thing is the lateness. I mean, I might I could stream if the kids are in bed at nine o'clock because that's the time the, the the girl the girl will definitely be asleep. The boy, depending on what time he's gone to bed and how exhausted he is from doing stuff throughout the day could be asleep by nine o'clock in which case i could then do some streaming but it's not a guaranteed thing and that's that's the problem so if i say hey everyone we're doing a stream at nine o'clock tonight and then the boy isn't asleep because sometimes that happens you know you sometimes can't sleep or whatever then i won't be able to start streaming because his room is there his room is directly on the other side of this wall just there so i will keep him awake chuntering away although he says he quite likes it he goes, are you recording i want to listen <laughs> so he does quite like it but um uh yeah so i i could stream in theory but it's quite tricky to do i can't guarantee if a stream is going to happen oh no mog van Tijen has died of old age oh dearie me this is all very sad oh yeah mr prepper and the guild three of course the guild three of course the guild three um no cars challenge. I remember that. That was great fun to do. That was wonderful. Skyhaven. Oh, Skyhaven was an interesting game. <laughs> I was terrible at Skyhaven. I was awful at that game. Oh, dear me. Terrible. Um, uh, I joined in one of the odd early successes. Settlement. 
Settlement? I don't remember a game called Settlement. I don't know. I can't recall. Yeah, Mr. Prepper would have bought some people in. Oh yeah, Founder's Fortune as well. Founder's Fortune was, uh, that was very popular as well. Sorry, just grabbing the, grabbing the water there. Um, right, what have we got? Can we build a church yet? Or a library, or whatever it was. Can we build one of these? Can't build a library. Can build a church. It keeps peasants from despairing. And gladly accepts any donations. Do you know what? Let's stop people from despairing. Because that sounds a bit sad. Um, how about we put the church just... Hang on a sec. Where's the... Where's the where's the door? That side, yeah. Let's put it there so it's near to our house. Slightly self-aggrandizing, but there we go. And hopefully that will get that happiness up. And that means that people won't mind paying a little bit of extra tax because we need some more money, please. Um, yeah, okay, hang on. Wee, back that goes. Right. What is going on? We still need more people. We've got space for 213 people. We have 140 people, and we've got nobody idle. And because we have nobody idle, we can't train any fighty people up. Because we haven't got people standing around saying, Hello, can you give me a job? I want to go and have a sword and do stabby stabs. So, um, yeah, that's a bit of an issue, isn't it? Oh, of course. Of course people would have come to the Geek Cupboard for Farm Manager, wouldn't they? Of course they would. That was one of the, um, that was one of the big early successes. That got us over... Um, 1,000. That got us over 1,000 subscribers back in back in the day. Was that April 2018, possibly? I think it might have been, because again, I was away when that happened. <laughs> a lot of stuff happens when I go on holiday with the channel. Yeah, I was away in... Oh, I went with the in-laws and the kids. Can't remember where we were, but whatever. It was... Um, yeah, we were... I can't remember. Swanage. Went to Swanage, that was it. But, um, but yeah, the farm manager, of course, farm manager 2018. Got us over the thing. Um, so it says, Project High Rise, feel everything. Wow. That is going back away. Good grief. Project High Rise was, was a long time ago. Wow. People watch Rimworld. Still got no charcoal. Yeah, somebody said that, but I assume. We've got three workers in there and three in there. Hang on, what's using up all of our charcoal? 26 charcoals produced and 28 has been used. Okay, right. <laughs> I know I'm not the best at numbers, but What? Um, right, we need more charcoal or some sort of coal mine. Is there a coal mine? No. Okay, uh, two more, three more of those. Let's get a stock of charcoal, please. Let's try and get that. I think some people did just join. 13 people visited, only four found a home. Really? There's, there's a massive manor house there with four people in. <laughs> oh, and Ruby's head of house. Joe you know up. Yeah, fair. Absolutely. Ruby should be the head of house. Um, okay, yeah, that's good. Right, we'll do it. Is we'll knock the tax down. In fact, no, the money's coming in quite nicely. We'll leave the tax like that until the church is done. And then when the church is done, we'll put the tax back down. Yeah, okay, right. Speed time on. Because we need stuff to actually get done. Yeah, the church is taking a long time. I imagine a church is a complex thing to build. Like I don't know how that I don't know how anything gets built. To be honest, I'm the least practical person ever. Uh, oh, look at that! Five more people. This is good. This is slowly ticking up. This is wonderful. Um, yeah. Okay. Some people saying another brick in the mall, which would make sense because that was very good. Um, yeah. Let's get the church done. Come on, church. Come on. So I've got, I've got one eye on the. Oh, hang on. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Oh, where am I? There we go. Um, yeah, there, there was a lot of deadness there, wasn't there? There was a lot of deadness happening. Um, right, where where did I put the clinic? Where was the little clinic? Is that the clinic? Yeah, right. You're gonna be you're gonna be busy, Brian Farmer and what? That's a great name, Labotus Maysinger. That's an amazing and that new charcoal maker is smelly. What the charcoal maker's all the way over there? <laughs> really? You think they smell? How much charcoal do we need? Oh my goodness me. It's just a massive grid of these. Yeah, so we've got six ill peasants. Hopefully, hopefully, they can be kept alive by the clinic. Hopefully they can keep keep them alive. Come on, let's not see that number come back down. We're just slowly, slowly getting that number ticking back up. Let's not lose it again. That would be sad. Right, and also, we need to get a ballista thing in. So let's get another 
castle block thing in here. I like them like that. And then, on the top, yes, a wonderful ballista ballista tower thingamajig. Can I put one on top even when it's not there? Yes, there we go. That covers a grand old distance, that does. That's huge. That's got good range. That should defend against the dragon. And I imagine... I might, can we point that down and fire it in the face of a Viking? Kind of think we probably could do. Um, somebody's saying this is the Church of Todd. <laughs> Maybe it is the Church of Todd. I don't know. I, I don't know. Let's go and have a look. Is there a man with a worm on his head? I don't think there's a man with a worm on his head. Talking about tax evasion. I mean, tax exemption. <laughs> um, I don't know. Don't know. It, it's not made that much difference. Some people visited, but none saw fit to stay. How can we bring people in? Right, hang on. Tax rate down. Let's get people happier. Maybe that's the problem. Oh, we've got no wood. We've got no wood. Okay, hang on a minute. Let's have a little bit of a wood gathering session from here. That'll do. We all of those, please. Go and stock up on wood, because that is going to be very handy indeed. Um, don't forget the witch. Oh, yeah. Yes. Absolutely. The witch. Yes. Hello, witch. What did you want? I'm not happy about this. Go now. Don't come back for a while. I've bought coal. Charcoal. Ah, oh, botherations. Okay, fine. Fine. Don't take it then. You'll just be a bit cold for a bit. Never mind. Well, we tried. Uh, Manga Fox and they joined with Airport CEO. That was good. I like that game. I think that's... Is that in early access now? Or has that actually come out into full... I don't know if that's actually a full release game now. I can't remember. I do not know. I mean, 60 seconds. Refusion says, I remember 60 seconds. 60 seconds was the first ever Geek Cupboard video. It was number one. I did um, I did uh, three of that initially. Oh, hang on. There's a, there's a bit of a fire. <laughs> Are we all all right here? Are we okay? Did the fire brigade actually come in and do their job this time? Wonderful stuff. Good job. Um, yeah, 60 seconds was the first video that went on the channel. And I did... I did three versions of it. I did yes. I did one where I said yes to everything. So I just agreed. One where I said no to everything. And I think I might just played it normally. I, think I might have played it normally. But yeah, that was the first ever video on the channel. Which is one of those ones where, as I'm sure other content creating people. So Jess is in there and Dave and everybody else. People will say that the first videos are uncomfortable viewing. When you're, you know, when you're a few years down the line and you've got on with YouTube, whatever, Twitch, streaming, content creator, whatever the words are, when you've done it for a bit, you look back how you started, you think, yeah, that was, that's not, that's not great, is it? Because, um, yeah, the, the, that one, that one. Oh, look at that. 13 people joined. <gasps> 13 people. We've got 14 idle people. Right. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Can we form some people? Has no... Oh, we need... Yeah, do you know what? We need some iron to make swords, don't we? We need some iron to make swords. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. Right, we'll try and sort that out. However, I'm thinking maybe another archer tower over here, and that could be the edge of the castle. That's what I'm thinking. We have got quite a lot of stone now. <laughs> that's quite good. Yay for the stone. Um, yeah, let's get another archer tower in. Um, uh, da -da -da, there we go. Right, good. Okay, um, so yeah, the first video, as yeah, people will will testify to, because you haven't found your you haven't found your voice, you haven't found you're not into your flow, is it? Where you don't know what you're doing, you know what the style is like. So I think everyone's early videos are a little bit kind of <laughs> don't like, but my one, uh, it was very quiet, and it was a bit. I've said this before on various things, but it's a little bit. A little bit like a like a late night radio DJ kind of voice, and it's really awkward. It, it makes oh, my skin crawls now thinking about it. It's really awful. It, I've, I'll do it now. I'll do it now. But it's it's obviously it's worse than this. But it was a little bit. It was a little bit like this. Come back with me. Wibbly, wibbly, wibbly sort of screen effect. Um, come back with me to August twenty sixteen, if you will. Um, and um, yeah, so it was a bit, a little bit like this. Hello everyone, I'm Penge in the Geek Cupboard, and today we're going to play a little game called 60 Seconds. We're going to uh, have a little go at it and see what's going on, and it'll be a great laugh, and we'll, ooh, it's about a post-apocalyptic, and it was a bit, uh, it was all horrible and terrible. Um, 
Yes. Yeah, Red Fusion says, your your voice and tone was very different, more serious. Yeah, it was because I was possibly trying too hard, I think. Um, Creamy Goodness says, going to go and watch that vid now. But don't. You don't need to. <laughs> it's just awful. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't think you should do that. Somebody said they were going to... Who was going to go? Some, I thought I saw somebody said they've got to go. Ah, Spud Gun. I've um, got to go. Thanks a bit the trim I caught in a bit. Yep, yeah, no worries, Spud Gun. Thank you. It's a, thank you for popping by. Um, I thought I saw somebody else had to go as well. Um, Ms. L. Jusela. How long are we going to continue with the stream? I don't know. Probably another hour, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll just muddle through. It'll be fine. Um... A knockoff Tom Scott with that intonation. I don't know who Tom Scott is. Is that good or bad? Do I want to be like Tom Scott? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'm just wondering what... Have I missed something in the chat? Um, six, eight, yeah, they did do 60 parsecs, didn't they, actually? Yeah. Um, it was... 60 parsecs didn't have the charm, I don't think. It's kind of the same idea, but it was in space, wasn't it? It didn't have the... The, the charm that 60 seconds had because it was post-apocalyptic 60 seconds was a bit uh, 60 parsecs just lacked a little something uh, 60 seconds watch party <laughs> no, don't, don't do that and yeah yeah Dave you're right a sort of BBC Sunday morning program voice you know when people are just waking up and hello welcome to BBC 2 and now songs of praise that kind of that kind of terrible voice <laughs> Ugh, no like uh, right hang on let's focus back on this um uh what are you? creepy voice engaged <laughs> okay <laughs> i was going to read that out in in a in a in the in the voice but i don't think i will now I, i'm not going to do that um right vikings were getting attacked in a couple of years we have got another archer tower in i think it's is it finished yeah i think they've literally just finished it at that moment which is wonderful um oh Hang on, are they on fire? Oh no, they're supposed to be fire over there. Yep, there's supposed to be flames over here. It's all good. We do need a well over here, actually. Hang on, we've got a lot of, we've got a lot of uh, things over here that kind of have fire in them. I think a well might be a prudent investment there. Um, and I think we should be able to get a library as well. Let's put. Hang on, the library can go. That doesn't go anywhere near our, th our houses, though, does it? The library can go just there, and that covers a lot of those houses. So if we put the libraries of the steps facing the road, that would help, I think. There we go. So pop that there. There's a couple of spaces there. How big is a garden? Can we put... Ooh, we can put a garden in. Hang on, I did not look at the requirements for a garden. 5, 5, 35. That would cost us a good chunk of money. But I think it might be quite nice. A nice, quiet and happy place for villagers to stroll through. Bonus happiness if irrigated. I don't know how we do that. Um, bonus happiness if placed next to other gardens. Travel speed is slower than normal roads, but faster than nothing. Oh, so it's a road. It goes over a road. Okay. That's fine. Right. We are going to get attacked by Vikings very soon. Sorry, everybody. Can't do too much about it. Although last time we did kill them in the face. So, you know, it wasn't all bad. It was pretty good. How's the cemetery looking? Uh, yeah. Empty, fortunately, for the people that are you know, alive and such. Um... What's been going on in the thing on the chat? Add more taverns. Yeah, maybe more taverns would help. Where does that reach? Uh, although the tavern does reach all of the houses pretty much, I think. I think it's within... They're within radius. So it should be okay. Um, oh, I don't know. We'll see. Um, let's have a look. BBC Two are on the phone. <laughs> they have a job open. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know if I'd want to... I don't know if I'd want to do that every morning. Hello. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to BBC Two. No, Radio Two. Whatever. I'm on the BBC. I'm doing a thing. Um, Tom Scott does educational videos here on YouTube. Oh! Oh, yes, I know. Uh, yeah, I know of him. I don't really think I've ever seen any of his videos. Right, hang on a minute. There's a building over here that's on fire that's on fire more than it should be. I suspect maybe there's too much fire. Um... Yeah, okay, right. Much much fire has happened, much in the way of flames, and it's out. Hooray! I mean, the only advantage if that burned down would be that you know, it would just be an entire pile of charcoal. So, you know, we could at least make use of the rubble, I guess. It wouldn't be so bad. We've now got quite a lot of charcoal. Do we want to get rid of this to free up three workers? Because we're getting quite a lot of charcoal now. 
79. Yeah, we've got plus 50 per year. Let's demolish one of them at the end. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> Maybe we don't need that. Um, okay. Um, got to go. William Kirkham, thank you for popping by. Thank you for coming in. It's uh, it's very good of you. Thank you. Um, uh, with great amounts of tea comes confidence. You sound like the DJ whispering Bob Harris. It is a little bit like that. It's a little bit like that. Um, anyway, you, you know your backup job. <laughs> I still don't think people are wanting to hear me on the radio. <laughs> I'm amazed at all you wonderful lot listen on YouTube. I'm frankly staggered. Like, right, Vikings are invading. Are they? Are they underwater? The Viking submarine approaches. No, there we go. There we go. Um, okay, hang on. Speed time on. Goodness me. They're... Okay, they're taking their time. The wind is the wind is slow here in the Viking boat. Oh, there's, there's... They're two big lads. Oh, no. I think there might be two chunky boys coming in to get us. Um, okay. Where are they going? <laughs> this bit's a terrible landing spot. They're going somewhere else. Oh, that's the other island. Oh, land over here. It's wonderful over there. Look at it. There's stone and iron and all sorts. Brilliant over there. Um, okay, right. They're going to come in. Oh, they're going to come in straight over here. I mean, there are towers. Yeah, we should be able to hit them. Uh, 15 people have, 15 more people have moved in. This is, okay, right. Things are going well. Let's hope the Vikings don't cause some issues with that. Right, Vikings. Hello, Vikings. You can have some fruit if you like. It's fine, we've got loads of fruit. In fact, have we got loads of fruit? Um, yeah, plus 76. However, we are firing arrows at them. Hang on, let's put it on to normal speed. There's two lots of Vikings, though. Boo to the Vikings. However, the ballista is ready to fire. I think, is that, can that fire at Vikings? I'm not sure. We are firing quite a lot of arrows at this guy over here. Right, that one's dead. That's good. Concentrate on Chappie here. Right, there's no defence tower over here, though. However, they are still getting shots in. Yeah, look, they're coming from here. And boom, Vikings are dead. Andy, oh, Andy Moore's died. The MP has died. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. That's a bit of a shame. <laughs> Ninja Dreamer says, I would like to go, but I'm mesmerised by your dulcet tones. I don't know which dulcet tones they are. Oh, I think are our house is falling down. I think our houses might be falling down. There's a lot of happy people. <laughs> Fire has claimed a cottage. Hooray! <laughs> Brilliant news. I didn't like that cottage anyway. Um, are they crying? I think they might have been crying. Right, hang on. Repair that. So put that back together. That one's been saved. Well done. Okay, that was fine. Now we have a dragon coming to attack us. Ah, oh, dearie me. It never rains, but it pours. Um, okay, we need some iron. We need some defence, I believe. And we need some more... We've got 24 idle people. What can we do with 24 idle people? What would people like to see next? What would people like? Does anybody want anything in particular? I mean, we've got quite a few bits and bobs in. I mean, a cathedral would be amazing to put in at the end. I think we might be a little bit off that now. A fishing hut. I sent a fishing boat out to fish nearby. Must be near fishing grounds. Be careful not to place too many fishing hooks in one area and overfish. I mean, the fish are there. Um, where are the rest of the fish? Oh, they're over that side. That's, yeah, we've built not in a good place for fish. I was just trying to think of a different food product. What else is there? Um, bakeries, fish. Oh, yeah, hang on, hang on. Can we go to bakery? A butcher, a swine herd raises pigs to be slaughtered for meat. Pigs need to eat wheat to reproduce. Produces meat all year round. Okay, we could build a baker. Takes wheat and charcoal and turns it into breads. Stores the bread until it's eaten. Do you know what? Let's have a baker. Let's get a lovely baker. Yeah, okay. They can go over here somewhere. Because um, uh, that land's good for growing stuff on, though, isn't it? Here, look. Hang on. Do people want to be near a baker? Is that going to upset them? I imagine they should be okay with being near to a baker. Do you know what? Let's put a baker just there. So it's quite near these fields. And then get some more roads going sort of that way. To about there. That tile is largely useless. So in there, let's put a granary. Well, there's a market. Market workers carry extra food and charcoal to the market to create easy access for heads of household. Ah, that could be quite useful later on. Right, and let's pop that like that. And then we'll have... What have we got in terms of food? We've got... 
quite a lot of wheat. Yeah, we need some other stuff, don't we? We need some other stuff. But if we have a baker that's making bread, we are going to want some more wheat, possibly. So let's just get some farms down just here. So farm there. That land is fertile. Oh, we're out of wood. Okay, yep, fine. <laughs> we're out of wood. I understand, game. That's why nothing's happening. Hang on, let's just chop all that down. Away with you, trees. Away with you. Right, okay. Uh, what, is, what is going on in the chat? Um, try building a boat and get over to the other island. That could be a good point, couldn't it? That could be a good thing to do. Get a boat and go over here. In fact, if we could set up over here... We could get loads of fish. I wonder if that's worth trying to do. Um, I would love to live next door to a baker. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Do you know, when I was a stewed, many years ago, we had that, we, you know, it was that long ago, we had slate and all that kind of stuff. Hang on. We've not got enough beds for people. Have we not? Oh, no, because one of our things died down. Um, right, we'll get that sorted. Um, yes, when I was a stewed, uh, which was, yeah, a, lo a long time ago, sadly. Uh, I lived, uh, so I moved out, and I lived in, uh, I lived in a, a little town where I was doing my work placement for uni. So I went, I did two years of learning, and then I went to work. I did some proper actual work in a place. And um, I lived next door to a lady who ran a bakery in town. And she was really nice, she was very lovely. And we'd come home from work, so me and... I moved in with another person who was working at the same place. We moved in the same house, saved money. And, um, and yeah, he, um, yeah, she used to leave, like, nice uh, bags of, of just lovely home... Uh, well, not home-baked. I don't know what it is. Shop-baked goods on the door handle. It was amazing. We'd come home and it'd be like, I wonder what there is today. And we'd look in and be like, oh, yeah, nice, you know, baguette or something. Or some cake, some donuts, or this nice bits and bobs. Sometimes there'd be uh, sort of, you know, complete sort of sandwiches and stuff. Because they'd sell sort of occasional sandwiches and whatever it was it was amazing don't you still need soldiers i probably do um can you play colony survival which one is that one there is is it settlement survival that's going to come out soon yorkie in the two hour heading out have a great uh, rest of the stream and thanks for the fun relaxed time you are more than welcome thank you for popping by thank you very much it's um it's good to see people popping into this it's wonderful stuff um uh, he needs an iron production to get soldiers. Yeah, I know, I'm on it. There's iron up here. Hang on. <laughs> we need... We need... We've got now too many people... Oh, there's, there's a spot of death happening. There's a spot of death happening. Or it's Halloween. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I suspect maybe there's been a tiny bit of plague. Yeah, the city is full. We need more homes. I mean, probably the people that are happy might have just got a house, <laughs> I guess, there. Which is a bit harsh, isn't it? Why is happiness so low? 15 unease from recent plague infection. Do we need... I did notice there was a hospital. There's a hospital there. I was thinking, do we need to get either in the clinic or a hospital? Plague doctors run out. Uh, we've not got resources right now. And there's a dragon. Bob. Hi, Bob. Bob, where are you, Bob? <laughs> Bob, where is... The... Right. Okay. Dragon sighted. Whoever sighted that dragon has the best eyes ever. I mean, that that was some visibility. I, I couldn't see the dragon. I couldn't see the island. Uh, do you know what? Hang on. Let's just speed time on. Do, do, do. Whereabouts are you? Right, you're coming in. And you're going to hopefully get a ballista being shot in your head. As well as arrows and such. Here we go. Right, so arrows coming in, causing damage. And, oh yeah, look at that. The ballista did some good, powerful damage there. Right, in you go, in you go. Come on, ballista, another shot. Right, that's... You're setting fire to a field. That's just not on, is it? Right, come on, ballista, get another shot at Yes, beautiful. Right. I think... If you stick around... Are you going away again now, Bob? Are you going to stick around? You might possibly... Yeah, that if that ballista gets another shot in and they keep firing at you... That might be the end of it for you, Bob. Uh, seven found a home. Okay, there might be slightly less homes around soon. Oh, is that it? Is Bob going to go away? I think Bob has just... Oh, hang on. <gasps> He's coming back. He's coming back for another pass. And... Bob... Oh, he's just... He's dead. He's dead. Peasants recently killed by dragons too. Dragons recently killed by... Pez Who thought dragons would be so buoyant? That's quite amazing. Um... Okay, oh, I feel a bit 
feel a bit sorry now. <laughs> sorry, Bob. I do apologise. Um, what's the next? What's the next dragon going to be called? Let's take a vote, everybody. Um, uh, hang on a minute. Uh, yeah, I would cry with joy if I had a bag of random bakery goods on my door handle every day. It was amazing. Pre not every every day, but most days. She might have not missed a couple of days a month, but most days. It was brilliant. We never bought bread. We never bought bread. It was amazing. Um, watching this as I'm fishing on New World. Yeah, I've seen a lot about New World. I am. I have mixed opinions about New World. I'm not sure whether it's a thing I would like to get into or not because there do seem to be some weird some weird kind of things going on with it um i saw something the other day saying that it was quicker to kill your character and then respawn than it is to use the fast travel system or something like that which does seem to defy some logic <laughs> it does seem a little bit strange there um dave <laughs> somebody said we should call the dragon dave yeah hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on there's a there's a thing. Hang on. Can I do a thing? Hang on. Go over here. Pause game. Wait there, game. Um uh, hang on, hang on. What shall we call the drag we can do this like I think I've ever done this. So um Dave Bernard Bernard or uh hang on. Uh did how do you spell? How, does anyone know how to spell Deirdre? I don't know how to spell Deirdre. Deirdre. I think that's about right. Or. Um, uh, Vera. Vera the dragon. There we go. Ask the community. This is fun. I don't think I've ever done that before. Did that do anything? Can anybody see a poll thing that's popped up? Because I, can, <laughs> I can't see one. Um, yeah, lots of bugs in New World at the moment. Yeah, best wait 12 months. Yeah, it does seem to be quite buggy. I saw people walking around on the bottom of the, the water as well. They didn't swim. They sort of were walking around a bit Pirates of the Caribbean-esque under the, under the water, just having a little stroll about. It was a bit... It was a bit weird. It was very odd. Um, the dragon should be called Kim Kardashian. I knew... I know, no, I didn't. She is, she is excluded from all of this. Um, right, hang on. Uh, I was going to say tea. I'm just dreaming. It's not tea, it's water. There we go, that's better. Um, yeah, I don't know how long that poll lasts for. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know how to view it either. Um, yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. Um, okay, so Dave is certainly leading the way in the dragon poll. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Uh, poll is that I voted for Bernard, as in Blackadder. Um, uh, yeah, we, Bernard appears a lot in Geek Cooper things. Bernard and Betty. Uh, right, hang on. We were playing a game, weren't we? There's, there, yeah, there's a game going on. Right, we need, what have we got? 206 people, 213 beds. So we've only just got enough enough, um, enough beds for people. So we are going to need some more uh, more properties for people to go and sleep in. So how about we bring a road down there, one, two, like that. And then that means we can get another couple of... Ha yeah, we can get some more houses in round here, around this stupidly elaborate thing that I just built. Um... Yeah, that's fine. So have one house there, cottage, whatever it is. One thing just there. And, oh, lovely. That can fit just there. Very nice. And then we can have another one. Um, hang on. Hang on. Can we have that one like that? Mm. <laughs> I mean, technically, the game allows that. I mean, I would say that you'd open the door and kind of fall into the sea. However, maybe you could open the... Open the door and and go onto the beach. Yeah, do you know what? That's what we're doing. You're opening the door and going onto the beach. Wonderful. And then we'll have a house there as well, please. Just so we can keep things ticking over quite nice. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Hang on. Hang on. And I know you don't need a road there, but I want a road there because it makes it look tidier. Okay, right. Much, much building, folks. Get a building. It's going to be very nice. And then I wonder, I wonder if 35 money... Is it worth... Can't afford it. The money just went down. Oh, we've gone back up to 55. Wow. Yeah, if we get more people, more tax. More tax means we get more money and all that good stuff. Um, hang on. I can't see the chat because it's gone there. Um, <laughs> Davis says, I have zero problem with being a dragon. I'm thinking you might have to be a red dragon. 
I'm afraid you can't choose. What would your dragon colour of choice be? I mean, you like red. You'd go for a darker red dragon, which in your classic sort of fantasy stuff would be like a fire-breathing dragon and such, wouldn't it? Um, I can't see a poll, but I vote for Tarquin. <laughs> that would be fun. Tarquin the dragon. Um, yeah, it looks like Dave is... Dave's got 47%, I think. Um, yeah, okay. That'll be fun. We shall see. Uh, right, let's get these built. Get all these things built. Food is looking fine. In fact, we seem to be having a problem with food. Are we maxing out on... Yeah, fruit. I think maybe. Hang on, hang on. Press the right button. Do we need another uh, produce storage to store more fruit? I suspect that's what we need. Let's pop that. That's all good land over there. This is rubbishy land over here. Away with you, rubbishy land. So we'll put a fruit storage thing there. And then... Um, how about... Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. We need to get... When are the Vikings coming? Eight years. Right, we've got plenty of time. We need to somehow expand over here to get that iron. So we're going to need to put an iron thing up there. And then we're going to need a path. We're going to need a road going up to here. So if we bring that down like so. And then along like... Uh, nope, not, not like that. Uh, oh, my of wood. Out of wood. Okay. <laughs> but, do you know what? I, I suspect we might need another forester. That could be quite handy. Um, do we have anybody that plants trees? Do we have anybody that does that? Rock removal. Permanently removes large stone-like objects that you could call rocks, I suppose. Um, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Um, yes, Dave, you do like red, indeed. The Great Wall of Cupboard. Like, what colour of dragon would you be? Sounds like a generic BuzzFeed quiz. It does, doesn't it? And then you answer some meaningless questions and then it gives you a generic answer. One of those kind of things, yeah. <laughs> it sounds very much like one of those. Right, let's chop down some trees. Let's get rid of... I thought I told everyone to chop these down. Get rid of those. Did I not do that? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, get rid of all that. Um, how's the... Does the witch still not want to talk to us? Yeah, she's she's not happy. Which is which is cross. Never mind. Um, empty cave. Yeah, can be removed with rock removal stuff. Okay, never mind. Nobody saw fit to stay because I guess there's nowhere to live. But now look, look at all the lovely properties. Two hundred and sixty something beds. When that one's done, the lovely beachfront property. Two hundred and seventy three beds. So plenty of room for people to go and reside, which is good. Um, let's quick eye on the chat. What's going on? I don't even plan for another story time series anytime soon, but there's a King Arthur story from the same developer as the first story. Ah, from the same developer as um, as Tally Ho. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I would do another story time series thing. I mean, they did take quite a long time to record. I think the final part of Tally Ho... Was, is the longest video on the channel, barring, obviously, streams, because they tend to go on a bit more, but the longest, sort of, you know, edited kind of video. I think that was the longest one. And it was, it did go on for quite some time. It was one hour, 40-something minutes. Um, Caitlin says, I need to go, apparently, my five and three-year-old expect me to feed them. <laughs> Our kids do need that, don't they? You need to feed them and give them water and drinks and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it, just, it never ends, really. Goodness me. But, um, but yeah, okay, that's fine. Absolutely. Caitlin, you need to go. You go and do parenting. Parent parent stuff takes priority. I know this all too well. So, um, so yeah, thank you for popping in. Uh, you should hold a festival at the town square. How does one hold a festival? The festival is... Oh, ah, you press this button, I assume. Yeah, there we go. That would probably work. Um, okay, let's have a festival. Let the festival begin. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, look, there's, like, pumpkin things. Well done. Yeah, uh, Marcel Jusala, thank you. Thank you for reminding me. I kind of thought that that just kept people happy. But no, this is this is amazing. Look at this. There's, so there's like, carved pumpkins. Happy pumpkins. Quite nice. There's a box of something just there. I don't quite... Oh, hang on. I can click that. Oh, that's a person. That's a person. <laughs> that's a person. That's a person sticking into the floor. I can't see their little legs. Uh, they're 63 years old and they have bad teeth. Oh, okay. But, uh, then, I don't know, brush your teeth. But whatever, I don't know. But there we go. So hopefully, happiness can creep up. Two peasants in fair health. Um, taverns are too crowded. 
Try building more. Okay. Okay. I hear you. I absolutely hear you. If I can remember where they are, then we shall have another tavern, I think, over on this corner. That would do well. So there's one over there. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Oh, my goodness me. A bustling city indeed. Oh, this is wonderful. Look at it. It looks amazing. And we've got seven years until a load of Vikings attack. Um, hang on. Have they done these things yet? Right, hang on. Uh, road, road, it road. And then go over to here. Um, iron, it iron. Right, there you go. So lovely iron. And then we're going to need some sort of grand storage type shenanigans. I would like to put a proper one in. A proper big resource storage thing over there. And we need another forester as well. Uh, hang on. Forester. Forester, forester, forester. That one covers that area. Can we have another forester? Over there. Is that too distant? That might be a tad distant. How about we just put them further down here? What if we just cut out a space there? Say, okay, away with... Oh, there's wolves. There are... There's wolves. Okay, maybe not there. Maybe just... Here, there's wolves over there. Maybe not there. Maybe here. Here looks good. There's lots of trees over there. So, um, yeah. Okay, right. Hang on. Forester, 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 forester. Put that down first. Rotate it round. Boom. Okay, wonderful. There we go. So now we can get some more wood from these trees over here. There's a storage thing. Yeah, we need a big storage thing. Let's go and get some more trees cut down manually. Let's get quite a chunk, actually. Let's get all of those trees done. There we go. Um, uh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, no, I'm using the wrong thing. Hang on a minute. Dave's what? Dave's wife is here. Hello, Dave's wife. <laughs> this is very exciting. Hello. Um, this is wonderful. Thank you, for, thank you for letting me borrow your husband for a short while while I do some streaming shenanigans. Um, can we have Kitty the dragon? I didn't put Kitty on the list. I put Dave... Um, and Dave the dragon is is narrowly winning. Narrowly winning. 42 versus 35 for Bernard the dragon. I feel a bit sorry for Deirdre and Vera. I feel a bit sorry. I mean, particularly Vera the dragon's got a lovely sound to it. Um, yeah, kid to the dragon. Give the kids some cake. Yeah, absolutely. Um, hang on a minute. Let's just scroll down. Cake, cake and YouTube equals parenting. Yeah. At snacks and YouTube. It's it's so easy to do. It's so easy. You just go, ah, oh, just YouTube, put YouTube on. Do that, please. Um, yeah, it um yeah, it, it's very simple to do. It's a, it, it, we do it <laughs> we try not to just go, uh, oh, what do you want? Ah uh, uh, yeah, you know, I need to do something, put YouTube on. We try to not do that, but sometimes it just becomes the the simplest of all the options. Just to go, look, just put YouTube on for goodness sake. Um and give them snacks and cakes and things. But yeah, this is wonderful. Dave, Dave's wife. Hello, Mrs. Dave. This is very exciting indeed. Um, yeah, yeah, indeed. Your husband is going to be a dragon who's going to attack us in 10 years' time. Which is... I mean, he doesn't have to attack us. He could come and hug us, I suppose. But he's going to do some attacking. Um, Betty from Accounts needs some love. <laughs> Get old Betty from Accounts. Um, um, right. What do we need to do? I've kind of, I've kind of keep having one eye on my one eye on the chat. Uh, Bernard is my grandfather's name on one side of the family, and Vera is my grandmother's name on a different side of the family. That was entirely unintentional, but there we go. Uh, Dave the Dragon setting fire to the Church of the Star Baker. Yeah, if he comes in and sets fire, if Dave the Dragon burns down the bakery, well, that's not going to be good news, is it? That's going to be all very suspicious. Um, okay, I've just thought, how's our food? Can we now get in? Can we get in um, a swine herd? Get in a swine herd. Get in a butcher. What's that? Provides water to aqueducts and reservoirs. Okay. Do we need one of those? I mean, I, I, water would help, but do we need an aqueduct? Why would one need one of those? To fill a moat, possibly? I don't know. Um, yeah, let's have a swine herd. So raises pigs to be slaughtered for meat. Okay. So then the swine herd can go over here, because this land is pretty rubbishy over here. So pop a swine herd there, and then we can have ourselves, if I press the right button, that would help, a butcher. Prepares and stores pork for each piece of pork collected from a swine herd. The butcher cuts and prepares it into multiple servings, if tools are available. Oh, tools, you say? Uh, 
hang on. What? Iron mine. Blacksmith takes charcoal and iron and turns it into tools or armaments. Okay, hang on a second. Hang on. How is the wood looking? Because we're going to have some storage, won't we? And I got distracted by literally anything. Where's Where are the stores? Uh, I've lost all, I've lost concept of time. There we go. Right. Huge stockpile can go there because that will help a great deal. So people can just bring things to here. Um, I'm just going to have a quick bit of the water. I don't, I really, really, for when I do another stream, I must remember to make a flask of tea because I had a cup of tea and that's gone. That was fine. It was lovely. Very nice. But I need a flask so I can top it up like a thermos flask. Um, yeah, and somebody said, why don't you build an outpost on the other island? That is a good question. And that, I think, when we've done that, I think that might be a good point to wrap things up. I think if we get a little outpost set up on the other island, that might be a fun thing. But yeah, we will try. Oh, one of our fields is down. Hang on a second, I noticed that. Rebuild the field. Yes, of course, it got burned down by the dragon. And that one. Oh, okay, we're down a bit on food then. Oh, boo, boo dragon. Um... Yeah, happiness is ticking up quite nicely. Happiness is looking pretty good. Look at that. Everyone over there is really loving life. Um, people over here, not so much. Do you know what, people over there? How about another tavern? Pop a tavern in over here and people will be happy. And then the happier the people are, the higher we can push the tax rate and get some more money because yay, capitalism. Right. So we've got that in. Um, we're going to need to have uh, a blacksmith. Hang on, what did the blacksmith require? Uh, charcoal and iron and turns it into tools or armaments. Okay, so I think let's put the blacksmith over here in sort of industry town. Pop you over there. That's absolutely fine. You're near charcoal. Hopefully iron can make its way to you. And I think, hang on, where was, where was a market? Market workers carry food and charcoal to the market to create easy access for heads of household. How about we have a market somewhere? Because they sound like fun things to have. Um, pop it there. Hang on, where's the woodcutter? Down there. That's not getting in the way of them, is it? So pop a market in. Uh, like that. Nope. Hang on, what? What? Hang on, what, what, what? what? Why can't we build a market all of a sudden? Um, oh, hang on, what was I building? Oh, now I'm very confused. Uh, market or a small market? Oh, hang on. I'm trying to build a market, but it's blocked by an existing structure. Is it? Are you sure? <laughs> I don't think it is just there, is it? What's just there then, game? Is it that stone thing in the corner? Okay, we'll put a market blocked by an existing structure. Are you... Mm, really? I, I, mm, I would say no. I would say it isn't, unless we can't build it. 30 wood, 38, 25 stone, loads of stone, 20 money. Uh, okay, right, that's slightly weird. Um, okay, let's put it there then. There we go. We'll have a market over there. It's sort of near people. It's a seaside market. It's nice. Um, blessed be the glory and the light and the ten... I'm not reading the rest of that sentence. Todd the, Todd the who? Can't remember. Don't know. Some bloke. Um, right, let's have a look. So how can we get over here? Let's click on the boaty button. Right, an outpost. Focus over land to build. So we need 100 wood, 200 stone, which we do have, and 250 money, which we don't have. We're not quite at that point yet. Um, what do we do? We make 77 each year. What if we just notch that up to 25%? Sorry, everybody. Sorry. I do apologise. Don't kill me. We need money to build exciting things. Um, and there's pigs. Hang on. Do you know what I do like about this game? I like how you can zoom straight in. Like, proper right down. Look at that. That is brilliant. There you go, little pigs with no eyes. Aww. Um, but there you go. So we've got some pigs going on, which is good. The only thing is, we've got nobody to turn them into into meat quite yet. Sorry, sorry, vegetarians. Uh, right, so you there, you are, you're producing stuff. Okay, so you're making tools, which I think, a blacksmith, there you go, blacksmith make tools. So they're going to be making tools, and yeah, there we go. 
we've got stored things. Okay, so we've got, we've got some coal stored and we've actually got some, whatever that was, tools or armaments or something stored. This is very good indeed. Okay, right, that's producing stuff and up the taxes. <laughs> but, but what about the tax exempt status? There's not, we don't have tax exempt status here. Tax dodging, that kind of thing. That's not, that's not what we have here. No one could find a home. Oh, crikeys. Yeah, it's very busy. It's it's busy around here. Um, yeah, I think we're dock. Ooh, that's exciting. Do you want a dock? Do you want a pier? Do you need a bridge? I'm, are we not going to need a bridge? How big can we build a bridge? Focus over land to build. Um, hang on, what? We don't, no, I want to build a bridge between... But bridges can only go in water, sire. I got that. We cannot build over deep. Oh, I see. Right. Okay. So we can't build across here. So we're going to need to build some sort of docks, I would imagine. Uh, okay. I don't know. I'm not sure about that. We will see. But again, we can't build a great big wonderful bridge over there. Okay. Never mind. Uh, and it's raining, which is very apt right now. Although I don't think it's raining anymore. I think the rain has stopped. Yes, we're making tools and such. So I think that's tools, isn't it? So two tools. One's used by the quarry. Um, so we should have an extra tool. We should have one lying around the place. Although we don't seem to have a tool lying around the place. Okay, how about then? How about we then get ourselves a butcher? Let's not get a butcher because we haven't got any wood. Hang on, that'll do. Chop that. And let's go over here and get rid of all of those trees. Away with those trees. They can go. We need to build on that. One day there might be a castle or something. <laughs> Andrew Grant says, I've made a Heinz cup of soup. Do you know, soup is generally what I have at lunchtime. You know, boring sort of way. But yeah, I like it. I like a nice tin of soup. Not a cup of soup. I have a tin of soup. Or I'll make one on the Sunday and have it like on Monday and Tuesday. But yeah, I like a nice soup. 100% uh, taxes. <laughs> Um, I would get more soldiers. Yes, we're working towards soldiers. We're working toward that because, uh, yeah, we're finally making weapons. In fact, can we get any? Um, not fully stored. Ready to use one out of 20. There's now oh, there's now no staff. <laughs> We've now not got any people that can, that can become soldiers. Right, that old chestnut. Hang on. Let's get some cottages. Let's get some of those together. Hang on. Pop that into there. And then I think... Is this... This is good land, though. This is good land. We might need to build... Oh, but then all the stuff's over here. All the pubs and taverns and libraries and everything else are over here. Ah, oh, botherations. That means we're going to have to build a whole new kind of centre over here. With taverns and pubs and libraries and all that stuff. Ah, oh, bother. Okay. Right, we might... We might just have to bite the bullet and get that done. Because this land here is barren. It's rubbishy land. No good for farming. So we could build up here. But yes, it's going to take us a while. Ah, right. Okay. I don't know what we do with this. I do not know what we do with this. Spare the poor Vikings. Uh, yeah, we just need, we need... If we get that home done... If we get that home done... Then immediately people move in. And then we can train some people. That might be quite a good thing to do. Right, hang on a second. So, buildy... Build, buildy... Anyone buildy building? Anybody? There we go. Right. Buildy, buildy. Waiting for some wood. Add the wood. Are you getting it from here? Ah, good. Yeah, there you go. Stockpiles. Yay for stockpiles. Do you know what, actually? We could put a tiny stockpile just there. Just to keep things ticking over down here. There we go. Right. That house is... Oh, come on. It's literally the roof. Come on, folks. It's like a roof tile a chimney. <laughs> you can get this sorted. Lots of people loading up the market with things. Wow, there's loads in there. Fruit and coal. Goodness, yeah, there's loads in there. Um, right, the house is done. 273 people, 285 beds. Right, so as soon as people move in, we need to... Whoa, is that lightning? Oh, okay. Hope it doesn't start any fires, although it's raining. Uh, yes. So, where are we? Where are we? Just there. Train so Hang on. Can I, we need 17, we need 17, 17, where, hang on, 17 of those armaments. Is that what that is? Yeah, we've got none. Why have we got no armaments? That is unexpected. 
Hang on a sec. Big stockpile over here as well, because we don't have one of those. Pop that there. And then, just to make people's lives easier, let's get to road going like that. Wonderful. Okay, right. People can work on that stuff over there. Oh, Adam K. Thank you, Adam K. Hi, Paige. We greatly enjoy your videos. Glad we can tell you, well, see you live. Uh, my phone today says you have a very soothing voice. Do I? <laughs> I've never thought of it as soothing before. That building's on fire. Maybe they need a soothing voice. And there we go. The fire is out, which is good. Did it go to that house as well? Uh, yeah, there we go. Well, thank you very much. Adam K., that's very generous of you. Thank you so much indeed. That is, uh, that's very, very kind indeed. Right, the Vikings are going to turn up in a year's time. We have nothing over here. Do you know what? Plenty of stone. Can we get another castle bit? Can we put another castle bit here and have some more defense? So if we do that and then pop an archer thing on the top, uh, if I press the right buttons, that would, that would assist. In fact, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Do we want to get another ballista thing just there? And then have another tower over here with, with archery stuff. That might be the best idea. Uh, no, that's the archer tower pen, not that. Right, ballista tower. Pop that onto the top of that one. And then have some more castle block things. Maybe over in this corner, actually, just in case the Vikings come this way. And then on top of here... Archer Tower, yay! And we won't get that finished by the time the Vikings arrive, but never mind. Um, a nutritious combination of fruit and coal. Mm. <laughs> you can get things with charcoal in, can't you? Can, I swear Mrs. Penge had, once had a range of, like, they were like smoothie drinks. I can't remember what they were, but they were different types of drink. And you're supposed to have one in the morning and one in the afternoon and one in the evening and all that kind of stuff. As well as other food. It wasn't like a smoothie diet or whatever. But I recall there was a charcoal one. Or something like that. And it, it it was, I imagine it was full of like sweetness and things. But it, I think it was that, possibly. I don't know. I can't quite recall. But yes, I think it was like a charcoal -y sort of thing, which didn't really appeal. I didn't really think that was the thing I would want to have. Right, let's get a butcher in quick whilst we can. Pop a butcher in. There we go. Right next to the, <laughs> is that mean? Putting it next to the pigs. I feel that might be a little bit mean. Um, I've got no idle people. We need some people to move in. Oh, Samuel Way has died of old age. Oh, dear me. And, right, some people have become ill from the plague. Some Vikings are invading. Right, here we go. Two lots of Vikings. I mean, they've got very good aim again. Where the... <laughs> Ten peasants have died of plague? Oh, that's just not good, is it? Okay, right, it'll take a long while for them to get here. Where are they going to rock up. Where are they going? Activated charcoal. I think that is what it is. Yeah. Um, saying hello for Laurie from the Discord for him because he can't be here. Hi, Laurie. How are you? Sorry you can't be here. Um, right, here we go. Right. Arrows. Right. They just, they just sort of robbed us a bit. I kind of suspected that might happen. Walls would have helped with that, wouldn't they? Why did no one tell me to build, tell me to build walls? Ah, oh, dear me. Okay. Do you know what? It's fine. They've robbed us a little bit. <laughs> It's okay. I mean, we could have shared. I would I would have been willing to share. Right, here we go. An outpost. Build on unclaimed land to start a new settlement. Provides a small amount of starting resources when complete. Okay. So, if we set up over here and just have a very, very basic thing where we can get some fish and send the fish over there, possibly? I don't know. Uh, there. That'll do. Click here to name your island. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on. Hang on a second. Right, hang on. Here we go. Too far away from roads. Yep, okay. <laughs> hang on. Forgot about the roads again. Right, bring the thing across like that and then round that corner. And then we will get over here. Let's not have hovels. Let's start as we mean to go on with a lovely cottage there. And because that gap seems a bit silly, a lovely cottage there as well. Right, what should we call this island, everybody? You should build some walls, maybe. Yeah, that would. The walls would have helped. What should we call our island? Here we go. What What do you want to be called? I shall. I shall have a drink of, unfortunately, not tea. Tea, but without the you know the leaves in it. And somebody name the island. I am willing for somebody else to give the island a name. Let's see what we've got. 
Oh, I'm running out of water. <laughs> it's, a, it's a sad state of affairs. Um, yeah, so yes, we could do with some names for the island if that's a thing that people can can sort of uh, can think of. Otherwise, we'll just call it. Oh, what was the other name that people came up with? What was the other name that people came up with? Stonepenge. Although I don't know if there's much stone on here. Should we just call it Stonepenge, maybe? Uh, and Mokken says, It's almost midnight, so I should uh, get my walk going. So I get some exercise today. Latest Penge, thank you for popping by. Mokun? Mokun? I don't know how you pronounce that. But yeah, thank you. Thank you for popping by. Um, what have we got? Yeah, we said we're going to call it Stonepenge, didn't we? I think that's what... I think that's what we said we are going to call it. We'll have, we'll have that. That's fine. Stone, stone pen will do the job. Our Highness. Is that us? Ooh. Has decreed the island. Uh, click here to name your island. <laughs> Not the catchiest of names. Uh, shall henceforth be known as Stonepenge. Okay. That's good. And then over here. How about we get. Oh. Uh, hang on. How about over here, when they finish doing that, we chop down some trees. There we go. Right. Okay. Everyone get on with working over here. We're trying to get houses sorted for you. Uh, right. Build it, he build. They get those in. Build the houses? Have you got enough resources? I think they do take some over, don't they? They take some stone and such over so they can survive. So if they get houses, yay, green happy faces. Everyone goes in. Bags is their room. Um... Let's see what we can do now. Oh, so many good names. Betty <laughs> Betty Vera. <laughs> Todsby and Cake Town. They sound like a dynamic crime-fighting duo. That I like that. In a, but in a, like a little English village, possibly. I think that sounds very good. Todsby and Cake... No, not... It wouldn't have that voice. It wouldn't be like, Todsby and Cake Town. Solving crimes. It would be sort of, Todsby and Cake Town. Oh, no, what's that? Old Mrs. Miggins has... Lost her cat again. Don't worry, Todd's being Cake Town are on the case. Like a friendly, sort of, you know, BBC drama type thing. Um, right, fishing hut. We need the tiniest, tiniest amount of wood. Let's speed time on nice and quick. Because I think fishing huts over there are going to be a good thing. There's going to be much in the way of resource. Oh, wow, there's, yeah, there's, there is lots of fish. If we go, we could get two lots of this. Because, yeah, there's fish over there. And it looks like that's quite a wide... They cast a wide net, almost literally. So if we put, say, a fishing thing uh, there, that gets a certain amount. And then we could put one, say, here to get all those ones over there. I think that would work quite well. Let's put that... Oh, do you want to try and move it over one more? Do you know what? Chop those down. Get rid of those trees. We'll put a fishing thing over there. We'll put a road going over to it. Hang on, that needs to go as well. Away with your tree. Progress is coming. Right, here we go. When are we getting attacked? Dragon in three years. We'll have to see what the winning vote is. I think the winning vote is still Dave, if the YouTube thing is uh, is telling me right. Oh, Ninja Dreamer, thank you so much. That's very kind. Um, I've, I've been guilt-tripped into sending you money, <laughs> putting your tax-exempt account in Guernsey, or spend it on tea. I don't have a tax-exempt account. Not Guernsey. Uh, anyway, right. Thank you. That is that is overly generous of you. Thank you very much. Right. Get rid of that, I think. Get rid of that there. And then we'll put the fishy thing, uh, fishery thing there. And then we could put... Yeah, that goes over to it. And then we could put another fishery thing over... Oh, we can't do that because there's no stone boot. Never mind. That'll do the job for now anyway. So that should get some fish over there, and that would hopefully sort that out. What's going on over here? Do we do we need anything? Are we all okay? Um, I swear, if Mrs. Miggins cat comes begging at my door again, I'm calling the detectives. <laughs> Mrs. Miggins cat, pesky thing. Ooh, is that two spaces? We can fit. We can fit a. Um, we can fit a cottage in there. We can put a cottage right there. That's nice, and it's near all of the things, so people will be happy with life and the world. Right, we need some more money, I think. We could do with the hospital. How's the... What's the food looking like? We've got... We've got a tiny bit of meat. There's a tiny bit of meat. We do have some armaments. We do actually have some armaments. We've not got much in the way of tools now. We've not got loads of iron, but we could... Oh, hang on. When we get some idle people... We could we could train up some fighty folks at long last. Now I've got no staff. <laughs> got no people to do it. 
Oh, oh, hang on. Was that house on fire? Uh, it might have been on fire. That was the tavern. Definitely don't want that on fire. That would be bad. Um, right, yeah. Food is looking wonderful. Food is looking fine. Um, yeah, we could maybe some more farms. Maybe get some more farms in. Um, yeah, just get a few around here, look. Just dot a few more farms around the place. There we go. That'll help out a bit. I mean, nobody can go there, but that's fine. So we've got some spare beds. What's going on in the world of the chat? Please build a dock on both islands so you can supply the new outpost with stones and food. So we've gone and built a prison colony. <laughs> Does seem a... Hang on, hang on, hang on. What? What is this? Who are, they? Who are you? Who are they? What, what's going on here? What's that? What are you? Oh, you're the fisherman! Because oh, I built a fishing thing. Yes, you're the fisherman. I was there just poodling about in the, you know, in the sea. That's kind of how fishing works. But, oh, that's exciting. Yeah, okay, right. We need to build docks then. Um, okay, hang on. So focus over land. So we can build a dock over here. A dock needs to be adjacent to the ocean. Yeah, I, I kind of got that bit. I'm sort of all right with that bit. Um, which way around does it go? <laughs> which way around does the dock go? I'm not 100% sure. I think that way? Maybe? I don't... Do you know what? It can go that way now. Hooray for the dock. And then, I think, if we build... Um, there's a market there. So we could build another dock over here. That would make sense. And a dock... Uh, I don't know which way around it is. That'll do. It can be... Blocked by existing structure. It isn't game. Game, you are lies game. <laughs> what is that about? It did that before as well, didn't it? Dock blocked by existing structure. I suspect it's not. Hang on. Oh, it's already built. But hang on. Did I build loads of market? I've built loads of markets everywhere. <laughs> oh, right. I don't know if anybody saw that. I don't know if anybody saw that and commented upon it. But yes, when we actually did build the markets, they did actually appear. There's 15 people working in this market. And 15 people working in this market. I don't know if we need... Hang on, hang on. Get rid of that. That means there's a pile of stuff in a very neat pile. Wow, well done, everybody. But then once that's done, surely everyone that worked here is going to become idle. Surely. Surely that's what's going to happen. Uh, hang on a minute, let's have a look. Um, I beg of thee, though shall buildeth the dock to supply the outpost with stones and tea. We're on it. We're on it, Red Fusion. We're, we're, we're building docks. And it confused me slightly, but here we go. Yeah, look, a dock is on the way. And also, do you know what? Let's get some, uh, let's get a bit of road going around it. I just feel like it needs to be slightly more organised. There we go. That's much nicer. That's much better. Um, we still don't have any idle people. I thought we were going to have some idle folk, but clearly not. Look, we're getting some different food, though. Got some meat coming in, which is all very exciting indeed. Um, and yeah, they're getting their dock slowly but surely sorted again i feel like it should have some I feel like it should have some road going up to it at least just for that and oh a dragon a dragon hang on who won the who won the dragon naming competition um it was it was dave with 41 percent okay here we go right so dragon coming in i've just had a terrible thought we built an outpost what if the dragon comes over here there's no chance they're going to be very, very dead. Right, okay. Here comes Dave the Dragon. Looks remarkably like Bob the Dragon. But that's fine. That's okay. Oh, we need to go and speak to the witch, don't we? Right. So here comes Dave the Dragon. Boo, Dave the Dragon. You're adorable. Come, come and talk to us, Dave the Dragon. Instead of fighting, come and have a chat. Come and talk to us about life and love and all that kind of stuff. Rather than this anger, we'll, we'll talk it out. It's fine. We'll have a chat. You can have some tea. We'll make you a cake. It'll all be lovely. But instead, you're going to get yourself killed, Dave the Dragon. This is... Oh, Dave the Dragon, it's it's looking bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dave. Oh, this is awful. Mrs. Dave, your dragon husband is going to be killed very much to death. Oh, I feel a bit bad killing a dragon. It doesn't feel... It doesn't feel... It's a hollow victory. It's a hollow hollow victory. That's not a good thing, is it? Oh, dear. Okay, never mind. There we go. Um, well, I mean, what? Hang on, then. We need to end that poll, because the, the dragon's dead. <laughs> and, um, and okay. 
uh what i don't know somebody can name the next dragon i don't know what what second we'll do an entirely different thing oh there we go bernard was second right hang on are these ports now done yes so that's done so okay there we go right we have an outpost so we have an outpost over there which is nice and everything over here is looking good except i'll admit our castle is slightly lacking hang on let's let's sort of try and at least build a sort of vaguely castle-y looking thing um what if we just put individual bits down for now so here we go we'll try and defend the are oh, we gonna run out of stone we might possibly run out of stone a bit um yeah, so if we have the castle with the treasury thing inside, just sort of coming down a bit like this, we just outline this, because I think, I think we will wrap things up for now with the stream. But yeah, that can be sort of what the castle's going to look like, and we'll build on the walls when it's done. I think that is what we should do. But yeah, we've been going for, what, about, wow, when did it start? About three hours, is this? Yeah, three hours, seven minutes. So I think that's, that is plenty of, uh, that's plenty of uh, plenty of uh, sort of kingdom and castle building. Uh, hang on a minute, you need to build a ship. Where do we build a ship? Is it in here? Do we build boats in here? A transport ship. Oh, okay, hang on, hang on. Can we get a transport ship? Yes, there. Okay, do you know what? Hang on a second, hang on. I w I'd, I'd like to get a boat going from there to here. That would be fun. That would be a nice thing to do. I think over here, how are we looking for food? They've not got much food over here. We are acquiring a bit of... Hang on, is that gold over there? 244, 249. Oh, I think it's gold overall. But yeah, they need some stone and such like over there. So it'd be nice if we could get this boat done. And then, I think once that's done, we shall call it a day. Because, yeah, there's been... Yeah, there's a lot of talking. And I'm out of... I'm out of drink. <laughs> I'm out of tea. I'm out... Well, I say I'm out of drink. I'm out of drink. Now. The water is gone. Um... So yeah, let's get this done. Oh, hello? Who, hello? <laughs> Who are you? You're a merchant. Oh, this is very exciting. Okay. Um, oh, right. We can sell some stuff and we can buy. Hang on. Which one's lit up? Oh, that's buy and that's sell. Okay, so we can sell some stuff or we could buy some stuff. Um, okay. And we could buy some meat i suppose i don't know buy i mean you got 16 buy 16 lots of the meat so that's 96 um that's 96 gold i would assume okay and then can we offset that by selling something how about charcoal we've got quite a lot of that <laughs> what if we sold you 10 oh hang on doubles it oh uh, we've got none to sell i guess you have to load it into there first we've got some apples to sell what if we sold you 10 of those? That um, complete sale, 10. Oh, okay, right, I see. I saw this works. Um, do you know what? Let's buy, uh, I don't know, where was it? Where was the meat stuff? Well, hang on, how much meat have we got? Nothing at all. Do you know what? Let's, let's give some people a treat. Let's buy some of that for 60 money. There we go. Why not? That was fun. Oh, that's exciting. And merchants can buy. Right, let's just finish this boat finish this boat there was a massive bang outside just then i don't know if you heard that i don't know what that was uh but we'll get this done and then yes we shall uh we shall call it a day the cemetery has run out of space in the cemetery hang on i kind of feel like we need to address that quite soon <laughs> hang on um where was that again remind me there cemeteries um yeah how about that one that's a big big fancy looking thing we'll put two of them down there we go that should sort that out right is this boat done yes that is done oh crikey right okay do you know what we, we've got a, a boat done we'd have to do some sort of complicated docking procedures um and then add actions and things oh crikey yeah okay right. i see what's going on there right so if we were going to carry on we'd schedule that boat to pick up some stuff go somewhere else and it would be amazing but there we go but yes, I think we'll finish things up for now because, uh, yeah, that's nice and it's a good point, isn't it? And I think we've done quite well. I think that is, for the fact that I've never played this before, ever, 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 I, I hadn't even started a game before. I started, you know, I initialised the game to look at the menu to get the recording stuff sorted, but I never actually played it. I think that's all right. I mean, partly this is due to the comments. Thank you, everybody, for helping me through it. But that is not too bad. That is not too bad. And of course, let's not forget, let's not forget uh, Stonepenge over there as well. 
not quite as glamorous as uh not quite as glamorous as New Zealand over here, but it's still looking pretty good. But yes, I think we'll finish things up for now. But uh, yeah, I've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed this game. It's um, it's uh, it's surprisingly simple to play, but there are certain challenges involved. You know, like being attacked by Vikings and stuff. But um, but yeah, that it's been very very good fun. I've enjoyed it a lot. And also, yes, thank you to everybody who has popped by the stream. Thank you to everybody who's joined in and has been chatting and liking and all that kind of wonderful stuff. Thanks to Dave for administering because I've seen what's going on and such like. So thank you, Dave, as well. And um, and yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I will try. I will try and not leave it two years until the next one. Maybe I can do something. I know in the day or in the evening if the kids go to you know, the in-laws the night or whatever, we'll try and get something sorted because two years is too long and it's a lot of fun. It's wonderful stuff. You know, sort of playing a game and chatting with you lot and seeing what's going on. So, um, so yeah, I think I think we'll try and come back and my headphones nearly fell off. We'll come back and try. <laughs> it's such an amateurish outfit here. Um, we'll try and sort out another live stream sooner than you know 700 or whatever it is days time we'll try and do it a bit sooner but uh but yes thank you everybody for popping by it's been it's been wonderful it has been a lot of fun and um and yes i will go away i will go and get another cup of tea i mean it's 10 past 11 here but i'll get the decaf tea and um and then yes i will bid you all farewell and good night and thank you for popping by and now I've said that, I've got to figure out how to stop the stream. Because I'm sure there's a button somewhere in YouTube that says end stream. Oh, there it is. Big red button. Oh, I love a big red button. Can't resist a big red button. Okay, there we go. Right, I now know how to stop the stream. So there we go. Oh, hang on. Balm Heartergate. Did I just miss it? You did. I'm, I'm very sorry. That I think, again, Dave might know more about this. The video does go up on YouTube at some point. I don't quite know when it does. I don't know if it's immediate or if it's in an hour or two i don't know but the this will be on youtube for you to peruse it's kind of you know today's video but um but yes you have indeed caught us right at the end but i'm hard to get but uh but you can look back on it and enjoy it that way so there we go anyway right i'm gonna press the big red button because i like big red buttons and i shall bid you all farewell and cheerio for now thank you for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time